first match is going to be again our card coming up against Big Dom Churros. Let's get it. Ooh, we'll see how the Ed works out here. So obviously, one of the, uh, the new guy to the roster here definitely has been looking pretty strong so far. I mean, we've seen like Punk and a couple other players kind of lean into it a little bit. And some people are saying he's a little on the weaker side right now. But, you know, I feel like it's just a little untapped right now. Mm -hmm. See what we said about that with Rashid and look where uh, he went. Outside yeah. <laughs> of top five, just hype, just being able to use like that level two. And that may be the same thing for Ed. Definitely different in terms of usage, but right now he's getting pieced up in the corner continuously off the low. All the card off walking souls. Yeah, well, for the walk up, nice. Use the ODDP, get straight out of there. That slow fireball to be able to get up and get the plus frame there on the pool, which is definitely nice. And the trade, but not a lot of life to trade with. Oh, Damn. <laughs> really? You was going to let it rip? Big dumb churros. So I'm big down for a reason. I'm the biggest boss we've seen thus far. And shout out to El Chicote coming through with the party 12. I see you, baby. There's one character I don't want buffed. I'm sorry. It's a Lily. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that, Mike. Mike. Beautiful oh, instant overhead. No. So good against throws. <laughs> so blast straight out of there. Good confirm on the counter hit there, especially with that drive rush coming through. Being very patient. I like how much space we're giving Alucard here. Doing a great job with these staggers for the jury and is able to get the punish counter. That is easily a kill at that point. And I like that he could have let the special rock, but he said, no, watch the movie. Mm -hmm. The whole cuss, he can't <laughs> skip it. No press start to skip, that's it. Big Dom Churros with the first victory. And again, as you highlighted, that corner pressure, very impetitive for this character. Stan Fierce, Fireball, wish he's got the stocks up. You locked up in the quarter continuously. Good anti there. Justice Ford gets a little pressure, like that use of the fireball, and tries to go for the Superman punch, but ends up finding the low anyways. Nice approach. Okay, Rush backs up. Bring the stamp here. So see the punish counter. Side switch over the corner once again. And the defense for this character, not very good. You can definitely tell that this is one thing the character lacks no matter what. Even early days, having a slower DP like the other characters do not have. 10 frame DP, so harass them. Dealing continuously, but they get clipped with that one. Close, crouching medium kick, hell of a button there, is able to go for a pretty decent stop sign, but continues to get really good value out of the Superman punch, and is able to use the OD, gets the throw. Air ball right after, the fake out, so you're looking for a DP right after, he tries to go for a dive kick, could go for a snatcher as well. Snatcher, ooh, careful with the fireball, follow up, finds a counter hit, oh no, was able to, oh, there we go, crouch fierce for the finish, staying yeah. solid. Felt like you needed to go to up forward there. As soon as you saw that burnout, you just don't want to get caught in that checkmate situation. But here we go. Good open up and a better DP. I get the Superman punch idea. Go over fireballs, possibly. But more importantly, like low crush. Some of these buttons, like crouching medium kick. But it's not really working out too often. Oh, opportunity for Ant here. Just chooses to take another step backwards here. But in the burnout, opportunity. The shimmy, the fireball follow up, big dump throws, and boom, but has the bar at the bar to back himself up if he needs it. Level three, no. He needs some bar spit here from Alucard, not yet. The throw right after. Level two, is that bar gonna be spent? Oh no, and like you said, just never had an opportunity there. I feel like after the throw, or potentially off of any other knockdown, you've got to spend it. Oh, yeah. With the lab character, I mean, Ed, I think he's also a lab character too as well. He's very technical compared to how he was in Street Fighter V. And again, Alcar trying to get back in, to get some Ws, now realizing that his first of three has another chance at life as the Dragon Balls have summoned him back to fight. I mean, he got the Janemba color on, makes sense. He does. Good use of Superman punch there. Good stop sign twice in a row. And he did say in chat that he has just recently started playing the game. So obviously, like we said, super solid fundamental base for this guy, but newer to the Street Fighter 6 game, it seems. Yeah. WD21 coming through the sub. I see you. Appreciate the love. Perfect pair. It's a blue kind of day. OD, DP. Gonna go for the cycle blitz right after the kill rush for the throw right after. See the counter hit. That is Lee Meaty. You see the counter coming through. Oh, card off the low. Oh, he's back in business. That's all it took for him to be like, let me take a second to take a breather and say I have another chance for this last dance. Yeah, had a really good opportunity to hop over the fireball there too. Set yourself up, but there, punish counter into the knockdown. But a good stop sign there. If if Churros is gonna take big steps back in situations like that, you might as well go low. I really like that decision. Be aggressive. I really like EVP coming through with that 15. I see you always dropping love with the match. Really. Let's go. Let's go. Throw. Just sends it out really. Big time Churro. Letting it hang. Meaty fireball. They get this meaty pressure. The fireball is backing it up. Makes it so deadly. Be able to get the side switch counter hit. Level three immediately. A thing that we said before was spin that bar at the bottom. 
Let's dump it all out right now. Yeah, especially like this because you're ahead. You have plenty of opportunity to build more meter. Even if something does go awry and you lose this round, but no, gets the reset. Might be able to set up for burnout here, depending on the situation. You no. need it. No. The card. I wonder if you would have known. JVL also with the sub. Thank you so much. But if he would have known it's the first of three, would he have played differently though? Would he have? Is it? Was this? What was this, Alucard? What was going on, brother? Hey, he's coming back with the uh, that. Uh... And what's the worst that could happen mentality? He thought he, he already like thought that. he's out. Now we're just fine. We're just fine. We're just fine for extras. He's also, chat. I believe that low is minus five. Crouch low is minus five. Let me check. But I remember one of his crouching buttons being way more minus on block than it should be, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, back in the match. Dude, clean touch for the second time. And I love how he, the ranges he's using. Superman punch at. Nice pull. DP right after. Kill rush. Did not be out the DP. It actually works out. Thought he was going for a block right there. Some space to play with. Those jump in. So finicky for this character. Not like the other ones. You know, jump fierce is a decent jump in, but the other ones don't reach in the way that you might like to have. The drive impact. He gets a splat from that distance from downtown. That was area codes away. The double drive impact. Oh no, and you're in a terrible situation now. We're absolutely able to just spend that bar, get the kill. Two meters still on the table. This is dangerous. Tro's in danger right now, man. We definitely, Tro can definitely let loose level two, load that bar in round three if need be. But we'll see how it operates though. If he knows how to utilize that, that's kind of like the upper echelon of three players is spinning that feng shui engine to get that victory. Look at the stamp here, follow up, look at the punish counter. Take a turn, all the cards, the fireball, the minus four. A little bit newer. Comes this game. Impact right back. We react. Okay, dash up. On the back throw. Yep, trying to play it patient here. Especially while you're in burnout. Gets the knockdown. This is potentially trouble. Goes for the throw. Doesn't try and go for the checkmate. Instead, finds a DP. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. I like that. Sometimes you want to over to get the win. They got the part at the bottom to react. Back to if you try to go for like a drive impact. So just backed up, held that corner pressure, airtight. Dom Tro staying all right. He's on set for it. Real set for it. Can't believe that's called flicker. Instead of snatcher, it's like called flicker. They switched it up. Kill my brain. All right. Did there be any back throws? No. Rass in the drive gauge. Oh, he gets the activation. So it's just going to go straight through for the level three. Going to build a lot of his own bar back here. Put Alucard in a really tough spot. Half that life off the table right away, dude. Dangerous position right here. Dom also has to be careful. Again, Alucard with bar. If you want to go for some chip on situation, if you're listening, Alucard, hit that level two on hit. Go for the level three instead. Even better, able to open him up. Dom was not blocking, so he might be dropping. Alucard doing strings out here. What's the work? Need a fireball? We try to pay another jump in. Tim trying to jump in. Alucard back to bar. No shot. No way, Dom. No way you bring this back, Dom. Okay, gets the back throw, Alucard. Okay, way to stay alive here. Makes it two to two. He thought the set was over. What is, yeah. what is this bounce back? That's all he needed. A first of three is a way different mentality for a lot of players. They're like, oh, it's the real deal. Let me uh, let me go trip mode. Bend my back and really get into the game. Okay, big board throw. Oh no, just straight into the ODDP. Buy yourself some room, gets the fireball, but nice jump over. These, again, these baits, I think, will come from Alucard, but here's the DP. As I'm up in the corner, put himself in the corner, but it doesn't matter. Gets a counter conversion, crouching light punch medium, ends it with the level one. Not to get it done, I don't think. I think he's a little bit more. He would have had a feng shui engine, could have got the extension, but that will end him. Beautiful interruption against the Superman punch. Dom, again on set point. Can he lock it in though? Can he lock in his victory and move through winner's side? Oh, a little too far. Both of them trying to go for big whiff punishes there. Earns the turn with the plus frames on the pull. Nice anti-air. Crouch medium. Really? What a choice for this character. Double position up in the corner. Up on the back foot. That's punishable. Way too far out. I'm not sure. Drive impact. Look at that splat. Oh, 
Oh, that was cute. Take those set up. Takes a step back. <laughs> you trying to shimmy with draw. Okay, I respect that. You're different. You're different. I like it. I definitely like this. OD level two immediately. I'm gonna spin this bar. Let's get the. I don't think he's gonna get the level three. Let's go for the empty low. Open some up the DPS there though. Big Dom. You gotta finish this now. But the flicker at the tip of the toes, bro. At the very bit of those nails. Exactly as intended too. The whip punish twice in a row finds a huge whip punish with that. It's, it's crazy because I feel like Flicker, like at some distances where you like to drive rush up or maybe like get a stock up, you actually get clipped because of the Flicker situation. Up in the corner, again, Big Dom. Gotta seal the deal right here. The DP you got that level three at the bottom. Wakes up with the button. The air is right there to drop him right back down on the ground. My jack was so clean. Plus frames once again. Step back. We just, oh my god, Shane's a Dudley, bro. He's not the only boxer. Good god. Backs up looking for the anti, but it's so difficult. 10 frame startup. DP is there. Big Dom looking to finish it. He's in burnout, but he still finds a victory. Had bar at the bottom. Still have more. For Final Fantasy. And, and oh, yeah. oh, you are. Reverend like Dad that. is a modern player. I like that. Player. Okay, so Revenant getting the big start off here, straight to the corner. Nice tag. Oh. Modern problems require modern solutions. The DP ready. There's that dive kick to jump, trying to call out the drive rush up. Oh, clean jump in though. Comes to the punish counter. Nice DP, of course. We are bringing straight out of there. Slides one against the fireball though. Dark side with his own reactions. Russell Jab baits out the DP for free. Suppressing. Suppressing this man's ability to come back. Oh, the drop though. Doesn't matter. He has him up in the corner. You see, you're the rising. Run. Can you get it out? So surprised it didn't come out in that spot either. It goes to the back though and just kind of, you know, chills a little bit. TI from full screen. He used DI like he throws fireballs. Oh my god. It's zoning in its own right, right? Like Revenant is like, at this distance, it's going to hit like a fireball. Backs up for the DP nice and easy. It's a crouching like Kickstarter, the four piece. This DP does work out for the OD, but Dark Side chooses to go in. I think you have to get like that knockdown sort of situation with that level two off against like Salute. Fast fireball, modern reaction definitely will help out against him trying to set up nine frame startup, so you can't interrupt it. That's the throw though. That's medium, yep, plus frames. Still has level three, tries to go for the Y out of the overhead, not gonna work. <laughs> Beautiful DP though, once again, the red, the In the oh. super, he's steady, this dog, you know, told you. You see the M? Majin Redneck. Good God, it's put to sleep. Crazy stuff there from Revenant. Definitely like to see it. And I feel like has so far done a good job of just being able to control things. I mean, uh, for Luke, when I talk to people who play modern Luke, a lot of times the thing that they say the most is like, man, I miss back heavy kick. That damage, it hurts yeah. to not have that. But if you're able to stay solid, I don't think you miss it too much, right? You can still make it work. Your neutral is dominant. Your neutral is so good. You're going to need like a few more sequences, possibly. Maybe even just one sequence, but the damage will get done. I like them going for suppressor to find more damage where the back heavy kick is not going to work out. Also, things like, you know, like knuckle, you don't have that in the air, so you don't have that like approach for like a frame throw, whatever, or like a follow up. So Revenant will like try to equalize with other methods. You know, that's the thing about modders. You have cons and pluses. Neutral jump, calling the die kick again. Love that cross up. Definitely sacrifice some damage for it. The okay, but a cross up from response here for Dark Side. Gets a remix here, frame kill for the throw right after the stand medium backs up. You can go for ODDP for an anti or we'll get the splat though. Should be a wrap. DP for the sky high, heavy mixer for the finisher. Dark side zooming on it. Has to pull back on those dive kicks though. I, I, I know y'all want to play like hello. Y'all want to play against Street Fighter 5? It is not the top of the game, my guy. Dark side. Well, that was a wild ass heavy mixer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love taking the aggressive stance right after that. Easy DP for the knockdown. And a crouch medium straight afterwards here with level three. No, we're going to save it. There's the <gasps> reactions again against the DI denying that. Fist the face and put him in his place. And using that super once again as a reactionary tool. Let me let me see the M's. See the M's. Please give them to me. Good God, you, dude. <laughs> you're in the comment section. I want to see the M's as well. All right. Drop them, baby. Revenant. 
doing math work. The M stands for math work. <laughs> Vile? Y'all are, <laughs> y'all haters, bro. Hey, listen, honestly, there are, I think there are only a few characters that can utilize modern effectively. I talked to Tokido, he said it was only Luke and, and Risa that he feels are capable of being modern players that are like decent. So it's not like it's a widespread epi epidemic, you know? Oh my God, look at Lycan here. Has to spend the ODDP just to get some breathing room here. Finds the throw, but that just gets you back to mid screen and back to neutral. This is not where we want to be. Revan has been doing so well in these spots. Ah, oh, can't dash up for free. The OD is ready, it's ready. My man again. Modern problems require modern solutions, and Revenant will definitely get that drive rush punish. You cannot do that hell of punish with a medium starter. Heavy ender right there with heavy knuckle truck over the overhead. The DP is there though. Again, dark side trying to get some distance, but he's at level two to really make that work. Never really seen that be a problematic thing here for Revenant. Dude, sick DP though. I love these neutral jumps as well. Needs to be careful about getting obvious about it, but overall it's been getting some really good value from it. Speaking of value, Jesus Christ, bro. Bro, finish the plate. Oh my God, charges up. No level two just yet, but still. We'll see what the dash up jabs. Revenant. The modern Revenant. The Majin Revenant. Don't like it. Don't like it. It's gonna be Chun Li against another character that has been recently buffed. Just a profit for running. Jamie. And a lot of Jamie players are saying this character is uh he's doable. Like he can win tournaments. I actually went to Zafrio's stream today and said, hey man, what you think about Jamie? He said, you know what? I think I can win a tournament for Jamie. And if he is saying he can win a oh. tournament with Jamie, that's confidence and all himself, but more importantly, the character to have the toolkit to do so. Call it the fireball. One thing that Chun Li players have to be better about is throwing out fireballs. They have fireballs similar almost to Gaia, like the speeds and things like that, the strengths and how they utilize them. They have to be careful of those jump ins. Do a fight up in the corner. Senna getting hit with the wake up buttons. Okay, got the parry. First counter looks for the step forward. Gets the okay. Clean connection here. A little bit of break in, but doesn't get much for it. Gets that poke, and that's something you're going to see often from Chun Li's. As soon as you're in burnout, they're going to lean on heavy legs. Heavy legs are very important. The docket comes through the rough prop at Saint Solid. I like that we went for level two immediately. You know, forward throw, you do get a sip of sauce for free. The docket coming through again. They just let it rip, bro. I feel like a lot of Jamie players got the, the sweeps. The dive kicks, they let it rip to get the sip on the sauce, get some distance, and have that variance. And it's good against a character that's going to drop it low with a crouching medium kick. And now you up in the corner, sip. Yeah, that's true. That's real. That's a buff. Okay, I'd love to use the OD dive kick as well. So far, it looked like the gameplay has just been getting to level two and just kind of stabilizing from there. It's not too worried about drinks. Just wants the dive kick and wants the stability. And I feel like that's all you've really needed so far. That's how it used to be played with this character. You could just run level two. Decent enough character, probably like here at that point stomp gets a heavy kick that's right after it you get them in yellow okay at this point you could close it out with level two probably there's a crouching light kick doesn't even greedy, need the bar greedy, greedy. Oh, oh you're too greedy the DP. level one level two anything you gotta spend something to stay in that game it's always worth the meter if it kills them it's always worth the meter sometimes obviously you're not wanting to rip the level three but you gotta get your value spend the win spend the win do not die with that bar can't use it the next game i almost said next round never can't use it the next game again the rough prop over that level two hasn't gone to the corner can get if they get another throw again sip free pour up drink overhead no it's gonna work though punish we're gonna see overhead from the side of cinema to try to reset the pressure Okay, staggered at that point. Chucks the fireball, good jump over. Into your whiffs, that is really unfortunate. Shooting kick, goes for the reset. I like that three stance cancel in the overhead. Walk up throw gets that obvious drive impact. And that's a wrap, the walk up swift thrust. Again, this character's corner pressure with strike throw is not similar to other characters. It's not real, but you're worried about like four media pucks, the swift thrust button that she has command normal. Yeah. Like air legs against your throw bait. Like you're worried about those options. So it feels like that throw pressure is there. Oh, big whiff punish, but it doesn't get much for it. It's like the presence of mind though, second time in a row. And it feels like the exact same place on the screen. The DP doesn't quite find its mark. 
Yeah, I, you don't have a sharp DP like him. It's unfortunate. Yo, what is that mix? The oh, side switch? Rough. That's cool. Yo, the, <laughs> you, you lucky you blocked that that first part or that second part. Can't lie, that would have been devious. Punish counter follow up. Uber kick up in the corner. Be next though. I press the issue. Oh, for real? Okay. Oh, another misstand here though. It was just at a weird angle. I don't even know if we would have been able to get anything if we wanted to. And the drive gauge is gonna be back. So we are gonna get the extension. Ten side kick right after it. We're gonna go for it, though. No use for the palm. Sweep did not work out. He didn't get the fault that he wanted. He's an OD fireball. Checks and challenges. Strength to drive impact again. Send him up and with the walk up back throw. Can they finish it though? They got the bar at the bottom. OD palm. Sweep off the feet. That's the feet. The rough pop it up a game and around. And as Rap has said, Houston versus Houston battle. Who's got the best barbecue between these two? Okay, this is closed. Nice poke. Oh, good follow up here. And some of that bar. No, gonna hold on to it. Gets the standing reset. Half the life off the table now. Send him up in. Even that pressure up though. <laughs> the props that I've had enough. Is it with the ODDP, but still caught from the corner. Should be level three. Yeah. Send him down with that so tin. This should be the end. Send him up and a lot more strategizing in terms of what they're doing up in the neutral. I lied to you. They're not dead, actually. Never mind. Heavily scaled the walk up throw, though. There we go. Send him up and my bad. Rough Bobby needs to be a little more careful about how we're using drive impact. That is the last three drive impacts in a row, whether it was offensive or defensive, that have been thrown. Cinema Muffins has co completely, clearly locked it on that particular reaction. So you need to be more careful about how you're using that tool. It is consistently mm -hmm. getting beating in the same way. Yeah, hide it in after like a heavy kick or something like that, or maybe at a moment where like, or don't even use it. Just use the intention of the drive impact yeah. to call things out. But if the dive kick, find the side switch, the Muffins get on the way down from the punch counter. The brick kick is after it. Gets hit with a picked up jabs. You see the target combo and the DP, or I'm sorry, the follow up. That sip two, and now now you see the rough profit going in every single time. They get level two. You don't worry about like level three. I kind of want the rough profit to get that level three sort of situation, but as you said before, too many drive impacts. Oh, good counter poke though. See, this is where R Rough Profit is getting their money. Their footsie game is working out well. well. If they keep it standing, keep it striking, keep it clean, I feel like this is generally, which is super weird to see because it's Jamie beating Chun-Li and footsies. But this is where Profit mm -hmm. is being the most successful. I don't think this matchup is that bad in the footsie element. Like his stand medium kick is actually a great poke tool. Crash yeah. medium kick, not that bad. Forward throw, especially if he gets his drinks off, he could, you know, double the damage to equalize any sort of interaction, but here's the pickup though. This is also equalizer. Her fireball is being problematic. What she gets off her level two, corner pressure, and the fact that she gets drive gauge bolstered up after level two. Oh, but that's that kind of little staggered pressure that we're expecting. Gets the force knockdown. Big step back. By Shinny, level three. Kill the drive gauge, kill the character, the rough profit. That was sequence after this two as well. Mid screen, drive rush stand pierce. No, tits I kick. It's right after a blue frog jam coming through with the 15. I see. Appreciate the love. <gasps> no! Cage them oh. in! Go fine. Poke. DP. Doesn't get much. Coach for driving back. Please chill. <laughs> you gotta be worried about that Bartha bomb that level one could come through to interrupt it. OD. The rough profit in burnout. Crystal jab. Anti right there. Get shimmy. The finesse and bless. Back to some the rest off the Rekka. The rough profit. Playing around Cinema Muffin's reactions. You see, too many streamings happen too often. Cinema Muffin might have to just take the throw when he be. Dude, that is bird watching. You hate to see it. Let's see what you did there. Hey, listen, bro. So I've been kind of on a roll, and Loki has not been intentional. I, I don't know what to say. The spirit of Street Fighters within me, Cola. Spirit of James Shin. <laughs> Potential. God damn. <laughs> I'm aging at an alarming rate, Cola. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels like so her. good. The stand medium not quite working out. That's a good drive impact in that spot, though. It's seeing the overhead and trying to go for it. Yeah. Crush him in the kick in the legs, though. Crop in the corner. Legs once again. Just to walk up a little bit closer to get that throw. When you're in burnout, it's a, it sounds like a strike throw, but we go with DP. The raw stuff coming through for the rough profit. 
be careful. The fireball game definitely hard to deal with predictive for this character. Like that's one of his biggest downfalls is dealing with fireballs predictively. Not caught up in the corner. The wall of buttons, projectiles. It's one solid punish counter. Now one solid hit. You split the bar. Try to get that final follow up, that final hit. The doing. Yeah. Okay. Now you're safe. Oh, that. Oh, that was very far. That was very far. Her anti-situational stuff is oh insane. Her non-situational stuff is ridiculous too as well. Tenno coming through with a 500? God damn! Oh my god, For dude. real? Shout outs, what the hell? That is crazy, man. Shout out to Tenno. 500! Oh. Bruh. That is insane, Yo. dude. I mean, we were playing for some bread tonight. All of a sudden, things got a little more serious. All thanks to Tenno. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now you see Cinnamon's throwing a few more fireballs. They said, okay, we play that matchup right. The sweep off the feet, the side switch, or the plus range. You can't press a button after that. The counter hit. They still allow that level two to come through. Corner carry. And you might see that mix up potential too as well from Cinnamon. Because maybe even a safe up setup. It's gone. Mm. Good parry. Good parry. Response doesn't get a punish, but still, they able to find the stagger afterwards. That's going to even up the games. Game five. <laughs> Again, that money got people acting a little bit funny. Can't lie, can't lie. Final game between the two. Let's see what do. Oh. Heavy kick coming through punish counter. Caught the limb out. That's a good button. That's a good button. At certain ranges against like crouching kick or stand fierce against this character, pretty good. Pretty good blocking inside overhead too as well. The rough profit. Even in burnout, not too scared of swinging. Love that little Goomba Stomp is able to get the other side. Tough situation. We drink through it. <laughs> yeah. All you can really do with matchups like this is you got a good fireball. Yo, Strider coming through. I see it already with the five. You were insane for that one. Dude, Only Honda shots. player I like. Oh, I was about to say, big shout out to the homie, man. Appreciate you as always. That's going to be straight into the super. Should be able to get the confirm and the kill. Cinemuffins, turn this around. Set point. I like more the fireball uses to lock this character down. More bar uses too as well. And not being a burnout so often, not getting caught in the shooting situation, the Rough Prophet needs to find more, I guess, I don't know how, how to put it. It's so difficult this matchup. It's hard to get on the fireballs. Her buttons, you can contest them at certain ranges, but certain other ranges not so good in this quarter pressure as difficult for the Rough Prophet themselves to deal with. They find a DP out of there, and they go for level two. You're sipping too much, careful now, you have a problem. Uh, no problems, oh, absolutely God, not. Get the knockdown. I was surprised we didn't go for level four there. Tries to get super aggressive, trying to get some value out of the rest of that burnout here. We are we're watching. This should be again. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, no, no, I no, no, like look that. at the drive level two and get your bar back. Smart stuff, Roth Prophet wants to play with that bar, but we'll have to play and lose this right now. Cinnamuffin aggresses with the fireball pressure. It's too much. You still have to be predictive when dealing with fireballs. That sucks. Not being able to leave like you'd like to. That kind of sucks. But he said the driver rush jab challenge, like now you can crush him, medium punch that at longer range. Like it kind of sucks, but he's still, that driver rush jab is still good. Like, you're still gonna see Ken driver rush jab. All right. Already walked to the corner in this spot though. Got him in a tough position. Does get the drive rush, as you said, and the punish counter for the back though. That dude, the, the Ken back throw, why does he always get that? I know it's iconic, but stop. Corner carry, name of the game for this character. In a lot of the the uh, street fighters, finds a big jump in against the fireball. Track off my bad, you play in the hoodies. Yeah, try to get the drive in back. It's level one. That's a reversal. That's a nice little rebuttal too as well. It's a side switch. Come into the fireball again. No DP, no into him. Javi has ideas though with the jump forwards here. Triclops tries to go for the air to air, but can't quite find it there. Superman punch easily answered, and that yep, absolutely sets up for a throw. Shab, OD, blocks it out. Has to be careful. Drop Cage getting repeated, repeated right now. But he still finds a stand pierce, fist to face. Finds the finish right there. Off the Dragon Lash. That's that ass. WT Falcon. First W. I feel like I've seen this name before. This definitely is a, a, a name that I remember. South Dakota. Have I played you? Here's a knockdown. Drag the bunker to the throw. Yeah, plus race walk up throw. Ooh. Oh, you are. 
so much trouble there. Gets the command throw afterwards as well. A pixel of life left and is in burnout. I was gonna have to do something. And you saw counter hit. I was definitely trying to be the aggressor, which is the correct thing, but fortunately not much you can do. Yeah, really good answers to fireballs when she's able to get predictive with it. Superman punch, she'll take a trade with Radius as well. While she hit the corner, backs up against the forward medium punch. Oh, the over at cancel this time. Triclops, oh, they're looking to be two touch three out here. They're looking for it. They got the bar at the bottom to spin. Oh, whip punish is huge. Falcon straight into the level three. It's going to spend it. So now you got to put this thing on a timer here. If Trico finds that hit, we're going to answer straight back with the same. Are we fireball? No, we just wait for a little bit. Drop impact, but too obvious in the side switch. Punish counter. Level three immediately. I don't mind this at all. Make him fall. Burn out almost imminent, depending what happens after this. Triclops gonna put themselves close to green, if not almost there. With heavy kick, drive rush up. Oh, I think he tried to bait out, but just actually got hit with the ODDP. Too much rage. Raw DP! It's raw, you donkey! The overhead to throw, you're dead! What? Dude, hell of a sequence there. DPs to beat the drive rush. Goes to the wake up DP afterwards and is able to go. Dude, balls of steel to go for the BD overhead straight after that, too. Yo, Falcon, you different. You fly different, bro. I don't know if I can be a part of that flock. I won't be able to survive. No punish, though, on that target combo. Usually you see, like, ODDP no matter what happens, unless they go for, like, an OD Gladius. Okay. There's nothing from Falcon, nothing from him right now for the corner. Your life bar is getting harassed, dude. Took a third of his life there on one bad interaction with an OD Superman punch, but, you know, that's just standard for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna happen. You also have to be used to that as the other person. Marisa players, like it's gonna be a Marisa rounds. Nice meaty overhead, gets the extension, enhanced top super max amount of corner carry, and Oki. The pop throw on that throw, the tech though, from track box. Mm, a little too far for the starters. Trying to go for the target combo, trying to keep it simple. Good job! Side switch. Jump light kick side switch. so dangerous. Crack off to definitely take this back. If he spends a lot of bar to do so, she's a thirsty girl, she's giving you that drive. Gage, but it's not gonna happen. WT Falcon drops a little with the crouch and medium kick. Now up a game. The round on his side two as well. And level three eminent. Both sides, actually. Okay, really good starting again. Corner carry, like you said, the name of the game, good tag. Get out of that corner a little bit. And I like that we took that big step backwards. I was trying to check the follow up there the Jinrai. It doesn't quite work out the way we wanted it to. A level three again puts us in a tough spot. Plenty of meter, plenty of life, but still you're way behind. You you know you're feeling it. Yeah, up in the corner. Maybe not the same sort of corner pressure in terms of like the throws, but everything else is there for this character. Heavy kick, counter hit. Gets a crouching medium kick. There's been all the bar. Should be able to get the victory. Heavy Jinrai DP. Oh, I forgot she a big girl. All for you, the throw. Perfect KO. So he just backs up looking for like a whip. He should stand medium kick sweet, things like that. Hit Triclops. Oh, base out the minus eight. On the drive reversal. Drive impact. I don't know what he woke up with, but that's not level one. But the drive impact again. This looks personal, Proxy. Yeah, goodbye, soldier. <laughs> A little unfortunate there. As soon as he gets done, not much he can do at that point. With the next round starting. Good jump away to avoid the Dragon Lash. First time we've really tried to see like a cheeky Dragon Lash type of temp. <gasps> Wait some base for just a little bit. Very good stagger step. Yes. Just yet, Triclops can bring this back. Oh yeah, it's theirs with no bar necessary. Perfect right back at him. Good God, didn't even spend it, just didn't want to. Says, I don't need it, it's a handicap, two to one. Good timing on the jump, to find that cross up. Goes the green stuff, doesn't find much. Nice step back into the sweep. We're seeing way more sweep in the modern game, I like it. Like Ryu players do it, Ken players do it. I've seen a lot of Ken, uh, Luke players do it for like that hard lock thing, side switch. He can spy switch his character built in. Get the Jin Rai right after. The only fireball eventually. You switch it up. No, just wait. I feel like he's just waiting for Triclops to win. Then he goes in when he feels comfortable when Triclops is on the back foot. Oh, 
No. The drop. had to have been a DP. Different setup. Where are you going? Holy oh, fucking omelet. Let's uh, hit that jump back door, huh? Superman punch. Get it. Triclops. Trying to stay in. Stay on set point. Trying to get the jump. No ant here. Kind of putting yourself in a compromised spot now, but crouching medium kick. That'll fix that. Mm. Frame kill. No DP. I wonder if he got DP after that. He went for the throw. The call to jump. I hate. Just hit level one. That I thought maybe that was gonna be dry rush in level two, but CA available next. It'll do it, but Falcon still fights their way out. Set point. Get the bar for level three as well. Could get a big lead or a big finish depending on. Was that level one for the side switch? Back throw, just a forward throw. It's a punish counter, so extra damage. Stan Fierce finds its mark. Run at DPL level three to put Triclops in burnout. But this character could work at burnout. We've seen them push back without the bar. They've got the armor moves with the stance cancel. The level three can definitely hop on. Yeah, be careful. Charges up. I'm gonna call that a space trap. But it didn't work out like that. No. Oh no, and it burned out, but okay, good tech. That fact though, that could have been devastating. Does get the jump over the fireball, Jinrai, and just checks again with the crouching medium falcon. There you go, is able to close it three to one. And two, that's that's a banger. Good results. Yeah, let's go get that fun. I'm glad you've been entering. If you want to enter y'all again, switch our Discord, join us. Yeah, for anybody watching on YouTube as well, make sure you're not only make sure you're subscribed because why are you here if you're not? Come on now, obviously. And uh, as well, the Discord link is probably in the uh, in the link there uh, in the description, or you can go to TNS.gg. You know, got all the information there. Definitely make sure you check it out if you want to join any of these tournaments. Looks great. Always picking weird ass characters, bro. From Time of Moria to uh, Street Fighter V, we've seen him play a variety of different characters, Mika and things like that. Even when he has strong characters beside him with Poison, is a running Aki. She did get buffed in a way where her things are a little more consistent. Off the punch, light Punch, Stand Medium Punch having more I mean, active frames, so it makes her meaties a lot better. She get more off her meaties and medium punches, and it's a good driver's challenge tool. And Flux is driving this man off the road right now. One more hit will do it. The meaty fireball, goddamn. Round two. It definitely worked out well and that's one of the tough things about aki aki i feel like is in her uh is in her strongest suits when you are able to like create a lot of visual noise right a lot of times it's hard it's difficult to kind of know what's going on with the character unless you are very well studied a lot of this is just trickery man i do think there's a lot of things that you could do as marisa i've seen like strider play this matchup do very yeah. very well against aki Where originally it felt like aki could like low profile out of like what Reese wants to do the exchange rate is just not very good. Stand fierce, no counter hit though. Drive our stand medium though for the side of flux. Initiate. Oh lord, here we go. The poke, the do that to me. Flux slings. The level three. Oh my god, and it is enough to kill. It's put you in a terrible spot. And dying with that CA always hurts, but not as many ways to be able to spend that meter here as Marisa. Of course. Kevin, she can double a lot of damage. Nice call out though on the light lash, but not the biggest amount of damage inside of the group. A lot more. Mm, couple drop combos put you in a weird spot. Get that throw twice in a row, especially with the poison ticking. Look at the damage already. Trade. Let's stay medium. Maybe trades are better for this character. There's a throw. And go calls out the parry flux wave. Going band to band. That stay medium punch. In that trick version. We're gaming around. Oh, definitely not what you want to see in that spot there. Doesn't get much of a punish though. What if jump heavy kick would work out a little better? The pushback is there though from Rick Roop. I'm gonna glad to cut through some of these limbs or possibly a light lash as well. Also has to be worried about you see the snake stance cancel. That's been into the command grab off the snake stance kicks and things like that. Rick Roop. Maybe you can get like a crouching medium punch, hit him with the stomp the rope. Drive rush back throw, puts him up in the corner. Plus. 
Okay, good parry, but unfortunately, OD gets you straight out of the corner. Trying to buffer, finds the force knockdown. Looks to be super aggressive afterwards, but the jab wins the day and finds a back throw. Charged up. Oh, God. Damn, you saw her rear back. Jump in. Anti-air is definitely not there. Unfortunately, Marisa, as continuously discussed, cannot just crouch fears. Has to be the one on the predictive side. A lot of startup on that. And now, Flux Waves can chip this out. He does. Snake bite. And that's Flux up too. Yeah, first option to close the distance. Definitely very, very strong. Marisa had to make a huge guess at that point. Like you said, jump back uh, is usually the best answer for Marisa in anti-air situations, but that's just not always a selectable one, right? Mm -hmm. Go for like jump back jab. Definitely more important or more like safe for that. Again, that's not you watching them have to feet off the ground. Oh, damn. The drive impact lands. The knockdown. So set up for the command grab right after. Plus it's going north to knock the south. We see how much damage that grip can do. Oh, yeah, nice and to get his own jump in. Dude, that neutral jump was so strong, and it should be enough to kill here, whether you spend the one bar or you don't. Yep, just gonna spend that level one. Definitely the correct decision. Flux Wave sitting on a bar still with the round in their pocket. Bro, what can Rick do? Like, at this point, Flux seems like he's labbed up this matchup so much and understands where to access the damage. Like, I, what, do you, what do you do with Rick, right? I mean, I'm not sure at this point. Like you said, a lot of the low profile stuff that we were uh, kind of scared of at first has not seemed to be too much of an issue, but just being able to get that momentum here, maybe just mileage per hit, I feel like. Because a lot of the times you'll see that. OD slide straight out of the corner, able to kind of mitigate the amount of damage you were able to find. Marisa cornered her at that point, didn't really get much for it. Mm. Bro, definitely not good. She's a very nice out. Nice, sweep the leg, crash the punch. But nothing off of it. In burnout, this is bad. Baroness of Burnout finds a shimmy. Look at that punch. Gonna wake up super meteorite. Yeah. Super for some distance. Bar back for Rick Root. Maybe more OD Gladius. Gladius or OD. Superman punch also could leak over some of these things, but it's gonna be level three. I'm sorry, that's gonna be CA. About to see some DNA. Flux. Dumping out a ton of damage. More enough to do it, yeah. Three zero over Rick Roop. You definitely tell he understood that matchup. He must have played, especially Strider, because I know scores alone. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now. Don't do Agreed. it. Anyway, Agreed. next match is gonna be Ken, I think, versus Luke. Yeah, definitely remember Hansel on the Luke. We had a more aggressive sort of Luke, and Enzo definitely a very aggressive Ken. So it's gonna be aggression, aggression. Let's get it. Okay, already, you know, both of them slow and steady, trying to buffer things, trying to feel things out as best you can, walking forward as aggressively as you can reasonably can against, obviously, the nerf, but still very strong crouching medium punch of Luke, but we're already to the corner and able to get the DP. One thing you do in this matchup is, like, fireball a lot more. Even when he has level one, he can't do that at close to mid-range, so you're you're safe to use that as a poke, but damn, no anti right there. The DP was not online. The jump is more than fine. Crushing to kick lands, run cancel, Tatsu, DP, Ender, Enzo has him up in the corner. Frame kill backs up, gets a crouching medium kick in the crouch for his follow up. Enzo's corner pressure. That's pretty damn good, my boy. Yeah, I mean, already playing layer three at that point was already stepping backwards to stop the potential for the, uh, for the counter poke to stop the shimmy or to be able to stop the green stuff. So either way, looking really, really good. Nice, it's a counter try to go for the reset. Perfect parry, crouch for his follow up. Empty low. Oh no. Actually, it's a throw right after they'll caught the recovery. Actually, they catch the recovery. Caught him pressing a button right after. Uh, no cross with DP. You see the counter hit? That definitely was. Just not come out. Definitely Loki getting pieced up in crazy ways. A lot of counter hits on random little pieces of damage here. Holds the parry. Was able to get a little bit of a punish there. By a little bit of a punish, I mean, we're just going to catch level three. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were going to go all the way through, but we are. Denzel feels the type of way, bro. That's, that's level three when you're like, man, I'm tired of this. I've had enough. DP, no, Crouch Fierce. I mean, in some areas, some ranges, better than a DP, to be honest. He's one of the best Crouch Fierces in the game for the entire, but he smelled that bar. But then again, Luke can stay solid without it. Enzo does have a lot to unload right here with the level three. Medium, the throw right after. Perfect parry in the cap. Side switch. 
You're gonna have to do it, yeah. Dragon Lash, DP Ender. Back up in the corner. <sighs> oh, try to go for a huge reward normal there. Doesn't quite work out the way you wanted here. Bar almost two. There's level three. Is definitely gonna spend it. I think it's even if it doesn't burn out, it's gonna put you in a really good spot to just throw the OD uh, fireball. Potentially set yourself up for that burnout. He does it close. You can also delete that level one. Didn't come through though. Just put himself in burnout. Jans will put himself in burnout. Does that part the bottom? The tray conversions. Both of them go bad to bad. But the OD run DP lands, and Enzo comes out better. I'm so surprised to see uh, Jansel going for the presses in those spots, especially when you are in burnout. You are, it feels like you're taking a massive risk in that spot, but you know, Jansel knows best here. I'm gonna do it obviously around here to Enzo and is able to find that knockdown with the Tatsu. Yeah, pressure up that crouching light kick has been so pivotal. Awesome. Crouching light kick, crouching light punch. Nice interruption. It's a drive versus DP is finally there. Can't leave for free. Finds the overhead drive reversal. Get some distance with him to Jansel. So come for the corner, the counter again, the overhead. Vanessa Bless, can he finish it though? Oh, the walk up check. You see where he is at? He's not even afraid of staying medium, staying fierce. He don't give a single care about those buttons. I'm gonna keep it BG13 because he likes that himself. Oh, there's a good jump of bad timing on the button there. And kind of underground to be able to low profile that one. DP, perfect carry. Off the backboard. Light knuckle, heavy knuckle. Crouching medium punch. Air there right there. I meant not cussing, camera lag. Jump fears. Find the fall. We get the level three. You don't need it really. He could do this without level three. But he'll spin level two right now. Oh, that's what Sin said. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I didn't say nothing bad. Oh, you could have punished. It's a hell of recovery on that Tatsu. Oh, he finds the jab either way. Jensel's been really aggressive on these reversal normals. Well, it's just a jab or a crouching medium punch to try and stuff a shimmy. Uh, I've been liking the decision making so far here. Almost has that second bar built up for the, uh, to potentially take a huge lead in the round, but yeah, more whiff, uh, more frames on that uh, light knuckle in the air there. Yeah, a lot more recovery. So strange to see that come through as like a, assuming a bait. So it works out as he's got a piece up in the corner, building up that bar at the bottom, level two. Beast mode by Beast mode on that out and it could all away. Jansel evens things out. It's Enzo the Hokage. Luke wins. Yeah, being able to access that level two twice in a row. I feel like that was another one of those uh, very, uh, very solid ways to potentially spend your bar. To you set yourself up to be able to use multiple level twos in a row. That's kind of the Chun Li effect, right? That's how she usually ends up spending. But what a great whip punish. Amazing exchange from Enzo straight at the start. So aware, man. You got the young man reaction to dash of challenge right there. Three piece light knuckle right after. Anti air. DP is ready. Enzo getting better and better about these jump ins. Denying that from, you know, Jansel. But we'll see how long that lasts, though. You know, some of these weird angles. Jansel might give it like a jump medium kick. Possibly. Holds a parry. Off the throw. Didn't commit to anything right after that jab. Snow! Oh, I wanted the cross cut. A little unfortunate. A lot of life off the table, down below half at this point. Finds the overhead from deep and keeps pressure up. You do kick it to pressure, you do punch right after. And Janzo's corner pressure has now been more effective than Enzo's overall. The anti are there, the grounded game looking really good for Janzo. You know, a lot of bar off the rip, heavy knuckle, charges it up again. The throw, the tech, not connect. Yeah, tick throw. Oh, that knockdown goes jump to the jump. Throw. Dude, that throw is so good. And now you potentially just spend less meter at this point. Doesn't have to spend any ODDP. Certainly kills from there. Wow. Game to game, round to round. Let's see what's going down. In. So saving the bar thing, pretty damn optimal to not spend any of that bar. So you spin it right now for this level two. Does he want a bleed? Yes, he does. So he spins it, get his bar back, get a fat bleed. Jansen with half health up in the corner, not really gonna be against Ken. Still got Stan Fierce, heavy kick, a lot of great pressure, and crouching to kick, of course. And we've seen him interrupt drive rush just like that. The crouching to punch, destroyed the normal, fantastic. It's stuffing, it's stopping this character, the perfect. Enzo said, I'm the Hokage. I came to play, bro. I came from battle. Dude, what a crazy way to respond. Again, it's so, so impressive to see this kind of composure from such a young competitor. 
that's true. You know, you see a lot of people that are younger, a little bit too aggressive. Maybe not as optimal. You know, I, I, you know, it's just them just starting out with the game. I believe this is his like first competitive fighting game just in general. I mean, look at how he's operating right now. I mean, even that, just being able to kind of recognize the tempo, you get a heat check and be able to find empty jump throws in situations like that. Especially when you've been able to rep so well. And even there, knowing the fireball is coming, gets the poke, recognizes the distance and is able to pick the correct buttons to get the optimal punishes. Like you said, oh man, I'm so impressed. <laughs> he's like, he's a young kid, an old soul. The way he's dealing with fireballs with the jumpers at the distance, as you pointed out, have been fantastic. We haven't even seen live rush like perfect carry OS just yet. We've seen it right after this, but we haven't seen like the actual perfect carry OS just yet. Will he bait it? Ah, he got hit. That's James are running level two. Maybe we get that bar back. Instead of using ODP for a reversal and spinning that bar, he wants to save it. Whips the crouch fierce. Enzo outside the distance. He wasn't even in the house. Ooh, that's a great parry though. And it's just gonna look for the burn out there instead of trying to go for the back throw. Does end up finding it. So very plus in these situations now. Okay, a big test right now. You're a burnout. What do you do? Enzo, you find the throw, the fireball, you interrupt the charge up, chancel. Does not want to go down to losers. Yeah, level three for the victory. Enzo, the whole Kage will get the DP. He doesn't even need it right after. It's just the finish right there. Enzo is the one on fire. Hey, no animation, no problem. Makes it work. Part of the dynamic that makes it exciting is getting to see those top level players play it out. But yes. top 48 begins right here. Kyle straight up against the uh, the Kami from Mothman. You know, I like this better than the uh, Chun Li play. You know, mm. I feel like the dive kick pressure is really good for this character. Just like this. If he wants to go for a crouch and medium kick, just trying to go for like upside down kick. He can still use upside down kick in a little crush, but see that operates Mothman. Has probably played a lot of Knuckle Doom, especially recently. And that's how to fight. Rig working on to give him something different. That forward, delay, and a good DP. A jump forward, pretty aggressive choice from Guile in that spot. And looking for the Sobot, but that's not going to work out, especially not the spacing, the perfect spacing for that dive kick. And getting better and better. I can wait for the spacing needs to play out. I like that backup, but let's look at the back heavy punch, though. Spinning the bar. Really? Okay. Crouch fears. That medium attack. Bro does not connect right after. Perfect parry recovers. Stupid baits out the DP. He's got, bro, he's got a level three in the first round, but he did drop the combo. He baited the meter. Okay, I see. That was really cool. Yeah. We'll take yeah, that. you baited the meter. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good trade there. We're still able to block, so that's all that matters. And straight into the level three, presence of mind to have the charge and be ready for that situation. So Mothman will be playing this from a massive death of the deficit now, and only a bar available. Single the blade. Him down, Mothman from coming in. They gotta get in that right range. Maybe the sweep. I don't know if the sweep reaches. That's like a typical thing you do for a lot of characters. Mm. Okay, perfect parry into the back throw. Potential for an incident to be able to change it around. Tries to go for No, 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 no. Down back in Guile with no visual noise to stress him out. That is an easy flash kick every single time. Every time. He gonna do it. And you know, we see Mothman trying to go for these resets with like the OD Blue again to get in. I'm not gonna have it this Ray Gord. It's such a big lead that last hit wasn't a bad bet. This one maybe not so good because I caught the floor. Let's watch Gage to play with the counter jab starter. EP, yep. what's next? Got the throw, one more interaction. And then he'll do it at this point here. Tries to find the crouch medium, does find the dive kick. I feel like OD Hooligan is good in those resets, but again, there was no visual noise there. If you're just doing it raw, you're getting kicked every time. Yeah, yeah. That'll be a character like of her entirety of her toolkit, right? Alone by itself, maybe not so strong, but together is deadly. Like things like that yeah. with it, because the middle stack rising, you got the fall. Level two immediately wasn't probably gonna get the bar for level three, so I guess gonna put them in that guess the game scenario and it's off the throw. Another perfect KO. It's okay, so definitely go. looking confident. Go on, go on, say what you gotta say. Go on, say what you nothing. I got nothing. Good round. One one. Pog. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Morgan. Oh my god. Oh, you learned? <laughs> yeah, I learned. <laughs> nice DP. Good sequence there. Back throw opportunity. But the tech gets you some room back. I'm just gonna do it. Try get that heavy kick too as well. Mothman finds his way out, interrupts the blade with the jabs. 
I'll throw right after, which I assume to be a throw, or the frame kill at the back medium, but damn, heavy kick lands. The punish counter. Mm, double crouch medium punch. Definitely more than enough to get the job done. Getting that round ahead without having to spend the bar. Definitely a big situation. As we get the couple counter hits in a row from both players slugging it out at mid range. Mothman gets the better of it though. I mean, obviously, it's Guile. You're not trying to slug it out like that. I mean, like certain ranges you can't, but definitely not in terms of like the reward of Oki as character yeah. gets. Like, what she gets off with a spiral arrow that continues to loop super. Just, it's not fun. Oh, back there on the crush. You can come out, but interrupts the spin knuckle. Sonic Boom Blade is out. Careful now. Drive impact. We react right back. Mothman is going to land that CA. You can see himself up two games after this. No drop. Yeah, there we go. Damn, so secured another one. Making it two to one now. And again, like you said, it's not bad for Guile to be fighting at those ranges, but you just have to kind of risk reward is more than just life total, right? It's situations, it's knockdowns, it's how you're going to be able to deal defensively. You got to think about all those things. I'm really glad you pointed that out. Man, I'm sitting in the game point. Dive kick lands against a Sonic Boom. Too close for comfort right there. Mob is definitely not afraid to go for the aerial approach. He's up the ODDD, Ray Gord in a lot of trouble. I mean, a lot of good damage to the drive gate so far, just with upside down kick, but again, being able to get that looped pressure going, throw potentially will be enough to kill here. That little delay, trying to look for the flash kick, but able to hold on to it and go for the jab. Okay, Rusting's back. Even with the scale damage, just like that. Mothman puts himself on set point. About to seal this. Bar getting all juiced up at the bottom. Finds a crushing kick, drive rush right after. Dropping down with the aerial target combo and the throw right after. Strike throw. Be closer, closer. Oh, but the recovery. They go and get some distance. Egor hasn't used the bar at the bottom. That's one thing we haven't seen just yet. It's like that bar at the bottom utilized. In the maybe like a level three sequence, maybe even for drop gauge off to like level two. It's in burnout. This is bad. Yeah, normally I would say that Guile is a uh, type of character that can usually fight out of these burnout type of situations. But Cammy, I feel like, changes the game a little bit. Mothman unfortunately misses an anti air. Reset with the overhead. Now you're dead. The reset worked. You have too much to look out for. And in burnout, all you really had to your name is the bar at the bottom for like level one and things like that. The Mothman. Again, as we've seen, the layering on the approach, a marvelous play. Three Kenny, to one, but Ray Gord, pretty damn good guy player. Just ran to somebody that plays. It's gonna be some, uh, you know, there's gonna be some, uh, some sad faces as we get into it. But like I said, getting <laughs> our match started. I said no smiles, all frowns. Lazy Gordon versus Burkish. Rashid, a character that's gotten stronger, but that's not so good. Maybe one of Light Mixon right after. Unfortunately, got the heavy one. Hey, damn near half of his life to court heavy kick lands. Down with the Magnum Bunker, Superwoman Punch. And now, just the slowdown. I love this. The Iron Wall, dude. A little bit at a time, trying to close the distance. Good use of the parries here. It's lockdown pressure, bro. It's been jail, no bail. You can't leave. Lazy boredom. And that's one of the best buttons to stop people from this character to like drive rush. Crouchy is really good. Beats us so much. You see the continuous like from the birds. Is he going to use it for full effect? Oh, good use of the OD for the armor as well. Being able to break through. Perry does stop a little bit of that, but almost gets the counter hit confirmed. Just wasn't quite confident in that jab. The follow up. Oh, the immediate cancel. Bolt with that unfold. Level three, oh, CA. Burke is swinging that bar immediately. It's not the worst choice, I don't think, for Rashid. If you can get aggressive this next round going down, you can get level two. 
but it's not over. She has a big girl. She has a little more health. The play with the back dash avoids for the medium touch against the stand. We just take the rebuttal. Definitely thought that was going to be scary to kill, but doesn't quite. And the huge punish counter right off the rip, all the way to the corner already. Good tech, but what's that really going to get you in this corner position? The throw happens again. The second one, though. Berkish, getting perfect parry. Yeah, if you don't have the anti-airs like other characters, you have to go for the blue stuff. That is so damn tricky. And Super Sheet Kick, not enough to kill. Jumping with a four on Crouch. He immediately kick gets the counter. Quite impressive when they shouldn't. Berkish drops it back after a very weird first round. Crouch immediately kick in the heavy mixer. Definitely an error, but Berkish, top level player, will ride it back and forget about that. Definitely liking the sequence there. Gets the counter hit jab confirmed this time. Second time in a row, we've been able to land that cleanly. We go straight through with the target combo. One meter to your name, but you don't want to have to spend it here. And we're not going to have to. Another perfect for Lazy Order. Wow, that's how it starts. Will it be the same way things finish, though? Oh, he's trying to jump any kid. Throw. Yeah, charge with the fireball. Oh, almost got the bait. We'll still actually get the dash up throw right after. The punish counter. Stay fierce punish counter again. In the situation, go for an over error throw. No, maybe Psycho gets a counter follow up. Oh, a little bit too long. Look for the overhead follow up as well. I'm really liking the ideas as we find the crouching medium punch for the second time. CA available. That is a wrap. Another one of those situations. Time to watch the movie. Lazy Boredom one to one. You are shock. Easy border. Bless him with the fist. That's super to seal it. Honestly, Berkish had that bar at the bottom, but wasn't able to dump it out at any point. Didn't they have a moment to hit that level two? Or at least they felt like they had it in the bag and it wasn't meant to be. Game to game right now. Perfect parry. On the entry for the stand fierce. I like that. Stopping for the toe tap. Drive rush up for the low. First counter throw. Damn, the burnout. Come in. Okay, secret forks out in your favor again. Looks for the command throw. Level one, easy bust out. Hmm. Ready right there. Just get the target combo. One more hit. Has to go before burnout happens. And he does. It couldn't have been closer. Actually, a pixel left before he was out of burnout there. Perfect sequence. I see the area is coming through against Crouch Fears. Not the fastest weapon to draw out with. Crouch Muni Kick. Berkus puts himself in burnout, but still. Goes in for the enhanced pressure drive reversal. Lazy Boredom. Better shake with the driver, Stan Fears. Off the bomb for Lazy Boredom. The area right there again. Level one. Dude, his hit rate on level one is actually unbelievable right now. It's really damn good. He needs it too. Being burnt out, no other way to rebuttal, but damn. Big Teresa fist. Oh my god. Lazy kill before that happens. He does get the bar back. Oh, try to be extremely preemptive on the jump back jab there. Gets the charge up and just armors through. Pull rushes straight on. Not what I expected, but damn, a good result. I mean, I like that, but Berkus could have tried first throw and, you know, caught that. Got a punish counter. I if he dies a little throws. But good call for Lazy Boredom. On game point, looking to move on the bracket. It's punishable. Gonna find the same medium punch. Same as follow up. Charge a fireball. You don't have a DP. It's hard to rebuttal with. You have to go for like a drive reversal, as you see right there. Now that pressure right after. Yeah, end up spending half of the drive gauge just as a response there. It does get the Superman kick. Superman punch, excuse me, for the full follow-up knockdown and spends all of the meter, makes it all the way to the wall, and then gets the safe jump sequence after sequence. Lazy Boredom on set point. Try to get the DP, or try to get the jump in, I should say, but the anti is right there. Berkish knowing that the OD DP definitely works out for this character now. The new change allows him, if he spins the bar at that range, to get a real anti-air. But now he's a burnout. Will it matter though for Berkish? 
Hard are doing a significantly better job on air to airs though, being able to stop a lot of these different jump angles that we're attempting here for Burkish. For the throw. Uh, grabbing his demons. Punish. Now here's a level two finally coming through from the side of Burkish. Reversal again! The pick from the side of Burkish. Yeah, Lazy Boy maybe didn't want to drive us up and put himself close to burnout. Every driver's throw. Dude, nice counter hit confirmed there on the stand medium to the crouch medium, but I mean, all the confirms in the world, what's that gonna matter when your life hits zero? CA from Lazy Boredom to be able to completely shut this out. Beautiful interruption over the overhead. Lazy Boredom takes on Burkish three to one in this bracket to get it done. Yo, good stuff, Lazy Boredom. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I feel like she holds up pretty well in this matchup. Bless the goddamn lore. I'm not trying to see no loop. I'm not trying to see no dusty ass loop. <laughs> Zyklus is the character I know you for. And you'll see as he plays. He kind of has his own style with this character. Calling out things with like Tatsu and Tatsu and stuff like that. Wacky resets with this character. But they're going to be problematic. When you have Jury swinging down fireballs, that deletes the ground approach a lot. And coming from the air with the teleports, kind of easy to call out once you have the mental stat. You can see already trying to establish themselves a little bit with standing medium kick, but Nephew so far is winning out footsies cleanly with the crouching medium. And Damn. is able to go for the stop just in time to completely bait out the Tatsu. Level one will kill for sure. And Nephew, with one bar spent, will secure that first round in a hurry. Cycles. Why did you only Tatsu as a wake up? You know what? Sometimes it's like in your DNA of like how things were in the beta when it was like a real reversal. Or maybe he went against the throw, I'm not sure. But Zyklus up in the corner too often. Perfect parry. Find it back though. Chicago Punish definitely works out for this game. Positional advantage is where this character can shine. She plays down the wall with the spray cans. And there we go. But he's out of there. Yeah, tap the parry from way too far away, unfortunately. It puts you in a messy situation. But I feel like she retains so much momentum when she goes for the drive rush. When you see her stick out that standing medium punch, it feels like she still gets like an extra like wave dash worth of distance to be able to close in. Nephew abusing it wisely. And it's like even more plus. Usually you yeah. kind of get pushed back after the block. But after drive rush, she sticks you like really good. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. Get the throw right after. Even more soap in the corner. The throw pressure. Three. Four. Dark Nephew with the back dash. Stay up here. Smoke at the shimmy. Gets the overhead. Dark Nephew putting on the hood. Oh, yeah. You're dead. This dude was born in the darkness. Born in the night. I'm telling you, Nephew. Oh, a little too far. Twice in a row there. Goes for the run stop and is able to get a little bit of damage to the legs, but doesn't get anything actually uh, worthwhile. Doesn't get a cancel off of it. Heavy kick for the plus frames, plus frames again. Oh, the elbow drop. So down to the ground. The walk up throw right after gets a counter. Got him pressing buttons. The throws. I just trying to put that same sort of pressure on, but crouching with a kick. Stock up. Help stay that off. Again, you see that fireball being so wonderful to lock down Psycho so sliding on it. When it's gone, then he does what he wants to do. Right there, already able to take the kill. Didn't he have to spend the bar? So having level three, getting into this final round here. Nephew, equalized on the meter though. Franco kicks, drivers right after it. There's a throw, we'll stand medium punch. So these plus things are happening. Gets the stand medium punch starter into level three immediately. That lead, Nephew has him caught up in the corner. Could throw out the OD fireball, stand fierce. A lot of things are locking down for the corner and again, cycles out for the most. Defensive character in the business. Level three, the fastest they really got. They're about to drop another throw. Wake up super is abated. Yeah, he waited. Held the parry. Punish gonna throw. Nephew up two. Nephew, I mean, the goddamn got him in the infinite. <laughs> two rounds in a row. We lost a third of our life plus just to the throw loop there. Things get a little messy and it looks like it's time for it. You said you didn't want to sit. Oh. Wait, no. Cycles. I respect Cycles. that. Yup, yup, absolutely. Cycles. Nope, is that what the million dollar character too? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, Cycles. I mean, it's not like Cycles can't play other characters. We just know him for and being the best in terms of what I've seen him in terms of results with the Kim, but maybe he has this secret jury. But Nephew played a lot of Despair King. At, no, never mind. It's JP. Bro, he played the theme. He played the theme. Cola, he queued random there. Oh, it was random? It was random. 
Never mind. This is random JP. His random is platinum, by the way. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Maybe he's been training. No, 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 no. He said, I'm switching care. Tekken just came out. I made Mokujin, dog. <laughs> oh, no. Perfect parry. Hold on now. JP's Maybe. still ridiculous in this game, though. Don't get it twisted. Maybe this is all we needed. The JP already actually looking better. <laughs> actually looking better. I mean, he had more options. A wake up like this. Oh, the amnesia comes through. Level one actually will eliminate that. That was so smart from Nephew. He definitely has a tech to connect. Stan Pierce, Trey keeps him caught up in the corner. Probably the chip, no dip. This is good. Stan Pierce, you'll enjoy this. Gambit on level two. I like that. Cross up attempt. Goes for the double jump. Nephew is so damn patient. I love that weight, and the DP is perfection. Nephew, saw him at Capcom Cup cooking, bro. Maybe that top 16. Perfect parry in the gap. News going for that crouching medium punch. We get a blue kind of day, double dash up. Throw pressure. You do have amnesia. Jumps out this time. The back though, though. Double drive for throw. Oh my god, Nephew. Another grip, and that's it. Nephew with the perfect. My man Nephew said, mm. I do like, wow, this young kid out here destroying people. He's crazy. Have you seen this? There's a pad guy player who's been nasty. And now, you know, now he's the, uh, now he's the old guard. That's just, I don't know. It's nice to think about. Yeah, it is good. It is good to see people getting older and staying with the game as well as people like that are new, that are younger playing the game. You play Fortnite or Call of Duty or whatever. Like in the streets. Finds a jump in Pierce against a fireball. Enhanced Hatsu, corner carry, and Oki. Look this up in the hood. Walks back, punish counter, but didn't get the. I would assume that was a flash kick. Yeah, maybe didn't have the charger. Maybe just wasn't confident about it. Either way, it doesn't quite work out as we get the counter hit standing light kick. I love the ranges that Enzo's poking at. It's doing a really good job to, to stay patient and not overforce these situations. It would be immediately like I said, I'm not In fact, he's got the lead and golf. The final set of the corner just fine. Nice interruption and space trap. Knuckle Doom setting it up for success and stopping Enzo from coming in. Yeah, crouching medium kick, obviously uh, negative at that range, but crouching medium punch, just a great stop sign to be able to stop whatever the, the next button in the sequence is from your opponent. Yeah. I think you might have to go for like heavy kick after. I'd have to think about what Enzo would do in rebuttal. That may be something that happens a little longer on. Crouching medium punch, punish counter, catch the stand, light kick, recovery. He has him up in the corner, has a lot of more to utilize. Floki says that they played before. I wonder who Floki, from Floki, I mean, I wonder who won that. Floki, can you let me know who won that? Okay, a little too far there. Oi, amazing jump in there. Not going to spin the bar, still is going to hold on to the CA. Next sequence, Get the drop kick for the extension. Very Walks it out, eats up, boom, heavy kick, heavy kick again. Drive rush, attack on the throw. He stays alive. Enzo in burnout. The flash kick is the entire choice. Enzo being in burnout forced him to do something. He couldn't just stay there. Okay, with the OVD Sonic boom. Maybe two would have chipped out. Had to get aggressive for the jump in. That's what nothing to do with for the anti. Dude, first game for him. Giles crouching medium kick is by no means a bad button. It is a strong button. Do it's makes it look it's so much better than it is. Like it's not by no means is it a bad button, but it's not. I don't feel like it's almost not as good as Doom makes it look. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you, you're right, but the way that he makes it work, it's like at that point it's, it's gotta crazy. be good if he using it so much. But then again, that means Enzo has to like back up and whip on shit right now. Step in the corner, like like in sequences like this, you see that knuckle dude's going for like overhead. You walk up the right after. If you're Enzo, back it up a little bit. Look for a whip punish. Obviously easier said than done. But Enzo on the back burner right now, overhead, and he gets the follow up that's so dirty using the overhead to open him up. The old D Sonic Blade and gets a flash kick right after it. That is nasty. Knuckle Doom. At them kids. Really? Oh my god, nice check though. Well, waits for it. Doesn't get the cross up on the DP though, so unfortunately out of the corner. Guile, plenty of room to roam as we find the punish counter throw. Plus, yeah, I do that. Enzo thought. We need Sonic Boom. Bar at the bottom. 
Oh, he almost got jumped right kicked on. Side switch, no DP right there. That's an anti-air. He's gonna get the boom loops and a level three. Actually, a level two knuckle do. Bro, saucing this man up and putting him with all the seeds in the lowers before a medium kick. Can you do all this? Hit him with the level three, bro. Can nah, you know how that? No, 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 no. Listen, you of all people should know after witnessing it in person, you know he's gonna go for the long one every single time. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Can I get some smiles in the chat for that one? <laughs> hey, listen, be, be, so be truthful. Be truthful. Be do you like truthful. that combo? <laughs> be truthful. Oh my god. Was that was that cheap or what? <laughs> Stand medium kick almost works out. Oh, Gets the trade man. with standing heavy kick. Looks for the Sobot. It's not going to work out here. Brawling a little too much with Ken, but gets away with a pretty decent chunk of life still afterwards. Aim for that drive kick too as well. Enzo's going to have to hold parry more continuously. Or have to go for like perfect parry against some of the Sonic moves. Yeah. You see, he, now he recognizes that because he has no damn drive gauge to his name. A little bit broke right now. Only pennies in that bank account. Piggy bank, really. I mean, he's below 16. So nobody knows how to bank account. Anyway, overhead lands. That dude's the only person that makes the target combo look useful. <laughs> it's, he hits you know everyone with it. <laughs> it's because he spaces it out so well. It is yeah. minus enough for stand light kick and punish. We've seen Chun Li, Cammy, even can do it, but there's a range where I don't think they're comfortable doing so. 100%. This is closed. Nice, perfect parry. Side swap? Absolutely, with the Dragon Lash. Deep no! Whips. I think you're just dead. Oh, a heartbreaker. <laughs> Ends up an opportunity, dude. He he did everything right. That drop combo is a heartbreaker. The actual already to that match arena. If it makes it to six hundred dollars, we get to expand the prize pool to who gets paid even more. So you know, help us out. Help us get it to that round nice six hundred to be able to pay out even more players. We're trying to spread the love to TNS, man. I'm about to shoot all of y'all saying keywords. Anyway, let's Whoop. get back into this. In the Editor, cut in the that one out. <laughs> Editor, cut in a video game. <laughs> in Minecraft, in Minecraft. I swear, I swear, oh I swear. Oh my god. Nice tech on the throw. Noah, unfortunately, pushed to the corner here, but still looking pretty good in neutral. <laughs> no follow up. I said it in Roblox, bro. In Roblox. <laughs> I'm going to get an email. Oh, oh that's the crush with a kick with no back heavy kick. Noah dropping a lot of things right now. Overhead had him in a fireball. What are these sweeps too, bro? Like, looking like that for preemptive against a fireball, and that's not biting. Okay. We like the ant here in that spot. Had another opportunity, nephew, just with that jump backwards twice in a row. Is this the evolution of the meta right now? Like perfect carry at like certain ranges against the fireballs. Of oh, looking at any fireballs in the game, right? Mm -hmm. But then you drive rush forward. And that's been so imperative to stop that pressure and really make them rethink how they're going to approach with the projectiles. And that's with the first victory. Oh, so from way too far. A little unfortunate there. Ball succumbs to the shimmy. Under. There's a DP. Doesn't want to test like having a cross up. Miss. Did he get hit? No, it's baited. Here's my level three. And here's my victory, my boy. Damn, nephew calling that out. Really, nephew will deny me the war matchup. Hey, nephew trying to write his own story right now, bro. He said, Don't worry, I'll send dude to losers too. They can play together. <laughs> <laughs> Never even looking. more so he. Right. Truly though, Nephew's offense is looking super strong. He just is making all the correct calls, whether it's baiting out the throws, bringing up the stuff out the attempts from Noah, but Noah finally getting that little tempo change, which matters so much, is able to mount some offense. DP hits, but not too consequential yet. Yeah, not yet. Not too bad. More short range drivers from the side of Noah. I like that a little bit more. Mix up, I want to say, in terms of like how he comes through from the neutral, crouching me to punch at a fireball. No will be back. I haven't seen him know the burnout strategy just yet. He's been nice and solid with what he's doing right now. The switch up, his game plan, to have that bar made for OD fireballs every so often for the switch up, that, or just more drive rush. Here we go. Now it's one touch. I like that. I especially like the OD Sandblast there to make Nephew feel the pressure. Feel like he needs to go for a dash forward. Try, try something a little tricky. Even with the fireball at his feet, that gives you a lot of comfort. Beautiful stamp here. So so. Great shimmy tool. DP backs up nice and easy. Dash up throw for the punish counter too as well. Back that. So I'm talking about chat. You see that? 
you can go for the back dash to avoid a throw loop sort of situation. And certain characters can, but there's like most that can. Switch it up on defense. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to Memphis. Not charged up just yet. One more sequence. I lied. That bar. Oh, Odie gets stuffed, tries to go for it again. Gonna go to level three. It is enough to chip. Nephew does the math and the calculation. Just couldn't be more perfect. I've, he, I've watched people drop a lot of stuff in that calculation. Nephew says, not me. That's for the conversion, perfectly done. ODDP, Noah the Burnout Prodigy right now. He's got the bar at the bottom. For other people, this may be bad for him, but he can still get the win with that bar utilized. Then you tell you, level one, level two, but Nephew, final momentum. So over Sin finds a Stan Pierce, punish counter. Let's go for the reset overhead. Yeah, has to go for that TA. Yeah, get yourself out of Burnout as fast as possible. Now you have a full stick of butter to be able to potentially use to be able to apply this pressure. This is important. You cannot let Nephew get away. <gasps> Double OD trying to chip. We're trying to burn him out, but it didn't work. The DP faded. A lot of strange wake up from Noah. I've not seen him bust out this much in terms of bar use. That bar is used for drive rush, bro. It ain't used for ODDPs on wake up that continuously. Yeah, I saw the vision with the OD sandblast and the follow up, but just unfortunately, as soon as that didn't burn out, like you said, Noah maybe just trying to brute force it a little too hard at that point. Pretty strange. Stand fierce, catches the stand light punch. Oh, another drop. Very uncharacteristic of Noah right now. Nephew well, back, as well. This is set point. I mean, Nephew, some drops here and there, but they haven't been to his detriment. Yeah. Prepare for a better jab. Turns into a throw of Nephew's. Nephew turns that offense on its head. This is my game. And that is not an easy reaction there with the level one. Even with the DP there, Noah just gets checked immediately. Gives him too much room. Bust up the DP. Sweep off the feet after the perfect parry. Finds a backdash to finesse and bless. Trying to put this man to rest again. Oh, another backdash God. situation. Did you beat it out? He did. He beats out more bar. He's a bar baiter and nephew. Steals his health, steals his drive gauge. His bar at the bottom. He takes everything. And then I'll find the answer. It's Pierce and jump medium punch and the part one. And it's Luke. Enough about uh -huh. JP. I mean, uh, speaking of matchups that Dalsum does not win, <laughs> I would say Luke is definitely yeah. on the list as well. <laughs> I think it's a little bit better for him, but I don't think he definitely wins. I think so. Matchup. Okay. I, I think it's better than having to fight JP, but Luke, all it takes is one OD fireball and he's in. Like, he, and having these jump ins to get some of these normals, one bad normal leads to this. Ooh, that's a great backdash, though. Right, set up for the teleport. Drive impact. Another weakness of Dalsum. Potentially, if you're predictable, it's easy to blow things up. He drops. The entire's right there with the yoga uppercut. One more hit. Has Daryl only needs a stand fierce. Or now, that's it. Just the fireball. Yeah, and I mean, another, like, really important key part of this matchup here is obviously Luke jumping heavy punch versus the man of many anti-airs. Dalsum obviously has a ton of great anti-airs here, but... Some of them do lose out to the club, the sword normal. You gotta remember. Mm -hmm. Gotta be at the right range, a little bit more predictive with these anti-airs. A little slower than you might think. Drive impact, caught him on the way down. Maybe kick, try to go for a DP right after it. That's not a combo, my guy. Or a freestyle side switch. <gasps> okay. Almost that button. I thought it was gonna happen with that crouching medium punch track at the time. Back, medium punch. Oh, just back heavy. Okay, the heavy kick working out too. CA is available though, Jazzero. Looking for that touch. Anything potentially will do it. Any kind of punish counter, any kind of hit, but no back medium punch again for the anti-air. But otherwise, it's watching and calculating how to fight the character. I was gonna say, but the way we've talked about it so far, good punish there with the crouching fears here. Liquid, like a jump back though and a good counter hit. Liking the idea so far already. Blue throw, it's now with the fireball. Crouching medium punch, nothing after that though. Liquid. Let's go for a pimp repair. There's the back throw, though. Punish counter. Departure out. <gasps> wow. Had time to go for the cancel and gets the side swap for that little bit of extra damage here. Goes for the reset and is able to find the throw for the second time. Maybe. Flip out. Gets the counter hit. Uh oh. Six and assist. Gets the back throw. Then heavy kick for the plus frames. Aiming to kill that drive gauge. 
cancels, has to go for the cancel the OD, but still gets caught with the punish counter. On landing, level two immediately. Jazz Daryl spinning all the bar. Should be able to get the forward heavy kick? Yes. Off the backboard. Pierce. It's not enough. Oh, I lied to the double pierce. Dude, such a cute sequence to be able to get that going. I like how much he's able to squeeze in on the ground before you actually get into the air, so he's not using up his jugglers. Very smart stuff. Let me tell you, he's well adverse at how to deal with this character. We saw the purple carry and all stuff previously. Pierce, really good against this character, as we mentioned. Like, on the way down, he has to to clip the float. Dive kick lands, gets a counter right after it, on impressive buttons, but he shouldn't. Up in the corner, frame kill, Yoga upper again for the entire choice. Dive kick again, gets a punish counter. Jazz Darrow, caught trying to press buttons when he shouldn't. Oh no, not like this. Andrew and Burnout, you're gonna have to hold a mix up here. Here comes level two, guess for your life. Die from this. No bar at the bottom. Stan Fierce. Fierce. OD departure. Oh, you lucky boy. That could have been way worse. He's able to survive. Had there been bar at the bottom, that would have been a different story, though, from Jazz Darrow. Yeah, I definitely. I was expecting level two from Liquid. Good to have, tr have faith in your defense there. Oh, Jazz started. Level three immediately. Can I get that bar back? Fat lead right here. Gum Gum you Yoga. Yeah, getting your own drive gauge back is the most important thing here. Up to three bars. So are we going to get the win? This is where Sim loves to play. It's having that lead. Historically speaking. Keeping the lead as much as possible. Front right, busting with that Stan Pierce again. Gets a punch counter. Teleport side switch. Dive kick. So hard to shame with this character. Drive reversal packs him up. That slow jump, sometimes an advantage, especially from full screen here. Nice timing on the teleport was just so ready. Liquid, even after the switch, that's another game on the board. They still start calling out the preemptive parries and things like the preemptive spikes, I should say, to the side of Jazz there. He's like, I know what you want at this distance and what you want to go for. I'm with that teleport, side switch, punish counter, and that's it. Liquid on a game point. We've seen Jazz there win a lot of top eights. Just recently, I think he was uh, top eight at Motivational Monday. Shout out to my boy, you were Judah. for next Mondays. Doing work out there. Right now, do some work in losers. Again, that dive kick coming through against Crouch. But Jazz Darrow tries to take back his turn. It's not working out. Oh my God. Just everything and in between. Drive impact is the attempt. No punish of any kind. Jazz Darrow just ends up walking backwards. A perfect for Liquid to show for it. Fear. Get the fear of God's one touch. Might back up go for another drive impact again. Jazz Darrow. Lost here in the headlights. Let's get the Pierce departure set up once again. But Liquid has been so good about going off the table. If you're Jazz Darrow, jump medium might have to be the play, bro. Might have mm. to get close enough for that mid range for jump medium to be efficient. You can't just set up the departure. You have to play around it. Bro. You see, Liquid has adapted to that empty jump that Jazz Darrow has gotten so much value off of, too. Goes for the OD. Get the parry, you see that continuously whips a few of these buttons. Tries to hold parry on the jumper situation. Best they don't take advantage of that. Get the throw right after. Heavy kick to the bus for the throw right after. He pierce the trade, the dash of throw. Now Jess Darrow turn up like volume. You see him get a lot more aggressive by the OD. He finishes it though. I like waking up with the jab there. Jazz Darrow was waiting for the super, was trying to block it out. CA is available, but Dalsum, not exactly, I mean, explosive on offense, but not explosive explosive in the damage department. Uh, really, CA is the only thing that's going to be able to have him turn that thing up to 11. It's like anti air choices, like you get punish counter, the level one. Those things will be all damage, but oh, otherwise, yeah. not like not like the loops like he had. It's not similar to that, unfortunately. Jazz Darrow may have to switch it up. Nah, he good. He finds a punish counter starter. Light push. He won't go for the super just yet. Amnesia finally comes into play. Second one. Stan Pierce. Pierce. In the corner. Jazz Darrow makes it happen. Just go for a pin to drive impact. Calls it out. Holds on. Takes this man south. Burn out. Not going to kill, but it will put him in a bad sort of way. Yeah, but look at the meter. High potential for Jazz Darrow. Depending on the situation here, when we wake up, both players in burnout is just going to choose to block. Chilling, chilling. Bro. What is... Oh, you good? Listen, a buddy like me would have killed. I would have ended it. It's time. I, bro, I, Jazz Oh, oh. Okay, well. Yep. Jab pressure more consistent. 
driver's challenges stand just feels be better to play. Consistent. She feels better, but she's still Aki. She's still going to take work in some matchups oh, she yeah. might have issues with. This one may have gotten better, though, for Rasheed. I think some of the Rasheed players are like, this may have gotten better because Stan Pierce is now with Punishable. His Amnesia not as strong. You have to get as much damage and departure. You can hold parry and get your bar back even more so. So he has to engage, which is what Rasheed wants. Oh, my God. Confidence is key. The OD Mixer. Cancel, drive rush up the medium. Discussion when you kick, cancel, but we see the perfect parry after that Radiant Cyclone. Puts him up in the corner. Loss off the stand, heavy kick, drive rush throw, gets the grip. Punish counter, drive impact immediately. He might be able to kill, he's got the bar at the bottom. Stand fierce, level one after this. Should be able to kill him. Yeah. Seeking that level one. Devious work. I've been still coming out of it with a decent amount of meter. Burkish though, I mean has Arguably the best level two in the game, ready, rocked, and just completely loaded. Is gonna send it out after the first throw, the hard knockdown, good enough. Swing condition out and about, locking the schedule down. Got the enhancement, actually didn't go for it. Just went for the anti choice of the crouching medium punch to throw right after. And now stagger stepping, looking for possible and easy to come through. Goes for the stand medium punch right after. Beautiful stuff from Burkish. The parry up. Okay, knows where the gap is too. Burgess is playing very well in this whiff punish type of game and being able to not let any of these turns get stolen. This shit out of gout. Out of out. And again, holding parry. Jab. Enhanced mixer. Flux. Not the hold that goes for drive reversal. You see the, the recovery in the Stan Pierce to jump in. Punishing. Flux gave him some distance. He's got some bar. So you guys that level two maybe or maybe even level three for like a possible lead? Mm, uh, sweep. Up, finds a sweep, goes for the level two. Set up for the mix. All oops, all lows. Finally ends up finding the hit though. JP players want only one thing that's disgusting. And that's what so open up the crash and get a kick. Level one to back it up and get it done. It's not about that level three, it's about level two and level one to back it up over that conversion. Looks like evening things out. Look how pissed it used to be. Yeah, Stan Pierce continuously as a shimmy tool. Flux still gets jumped in on. Very risky now. Nice wow. over to the fireball, the OD edition. And just barely makes it to the wall to drive impact there. Flux again just kind of caught off guard. Goes for the recent standing heavy kick in that spot. Yeah, a lot of JP players will wake up as a rebuttal. It's plus counter hit, get a lot off of it. He is out though, the air to air is right there. That's a Benet Kid special, by the way. We love to see him. Oh, and finally, after conditioning with crouching medium kick over and over and over, finally finds the overhead there with the board medium. Like he saw him ducking, he was like, I got something for you, boy. I'm gonna bless that dome. Chris and the cranium. Anti air is still there, still working out. Crouch for you is still fantastic. It's not as abusable. It's that crouching you punch good against the drive rush as well. The punchers out, and heavy kick plus rings. Doesn't do anything with that. Doesn't even still a turn like OD right after. There's level two again. Hey, and that's a ton of corner position and a throw because of it. Stan Pierce right after. Space trap. Again! You cannot go for Stan Pierce like you'd like to, as just like a footsie tool. DP catches him trying to leave. Yeah, Ronnie Dixon trying to stay fine. And Burkish trying to put a game on the board. Barely catches him top of the head. Here comes level two. He, we're taking the throw. I respect that. That would be way, way worse. But up in the corner, character wants to the stand fair starter. Some of the knockdown. Cards of Fireball so good against this character. And the game didn't finish the plate, though. Burke had the bar at the bottom to do so. Finds jabs and finds some space. 
Slowly working his way out of the corner, but there we go on the punish counter. Is able to get the extra damage and is able to even up the games now. Burke is definitely looking significantly better. The anti-fireball game finally coming through. And I love that we use that as a jump scare in that last situation. But we're gonna we're gonna switch actually. Really? Two That's what it looked like. Maybe he doesn't feel as comfortable with that JP. Like maybe I mean I haven't seen him play JP in ranked or in tournament as much. So I'm wondering if he just hasn't had the time to grind that character out. Especially with the changes that have happened to see him not comfortable, not swinging out, staying fierce like he'd like to. And so that being punishable, he's like, well, goddamn, what do I do? I'll switch over to a character he's been spending a little more time with the OD Fireball right back at him. Which plus, Flux wastes a lot of bar. Opportunity for an anti-air there, but maybe didn't want to overshoot. It was just a big step away. High low gets perfect parried, finds a throw. Good situation. Medium starter is a heavy lash. The overhead connects. They have that poison damage. That extension. Plus this character really deal out what she pushes out. You know? Whoa, we'll try to wake up with OD. Is that against a throw bait? I don't know, bro, but did not work out. Flux. Got a shab. Gonna end it with a level one to get it done. I don't want that wake up OD. Eagle Spike was though. Maybe it gets a throw. The best the reward. Oh, it's too stubborn. Stand medium punch follow up off that perfect carry. The heavy kick, it's extension. Poison it applied again, so dangerous. You hit with this character, it allows her to get better conversions, more damage, as we talked about. One thing we'll try to go for like a command grab there. Get back in the corner. Yeah, either way, good patience from Burkish. He's able to earn the offense back again. Finds the throw. Still going to have to block the tornado on wake up. Now the potential for the enhanced mixer and the fear of it actually is able to open up the throw. Back to the minus frames. Hulk on the air. TK dive kick. Works out. Drive reversal. Burkish has the lead. Okay, we are harassing right now. Being able to go through, I mean, that is pretty plus in those situations. Gets the knock up and is able to get the kill here. Just spend the level three. We did a lot of extra combo just because, just to let you know. Just to let you know. And we talked about this. It's not about the character that is the strongest, but the character that's strongest for you. Right now, for Flux in this situation, this character is stronger for him to get the win, right? Like that's what it's about for him. Blocks out the overhead. Way more comfortable and compact with this character. Way more confident with the buttons that he's pressing right now, the range that he is standing. Okay, so a good start. With the corner control, goes for the OD and does make it out of the corner. Is able to connect with a couple firewalls in a row. Not something you see as often from Aki, being able to have those actually land. Be very careful. You know, could see OD fireball back from the side of Burkish, but same one that stand fierce as a good shimmy tool. Drive rush throw this time, calls up the parry. Plus, nice interruption. So you're maybe cyclone start up. Cut that out. Good reset. What can you turn it into? I love the idea with the medium fireball, but that's a great jump over from Flux. It's so common, that's why you would see the jump come through from the side of Flux. Like he is better that situation more often than not. Well, you bought the drop, the drive impact, crouching medium kick of Burkish, staves off set point already. Ooh, this is level two as well. And again, this is not even a top eight qualifier. They still have one more match after this to be able to earn their spot. This is crazy to see this deep in the bracket, man. Perfect anti spacing. It's hard to do so with this character continuously. A nice heavy lash coming through. Double down with the throw. Poison, you're definitely gonna tech, or not tech, I'm sorry. You don't wanna take it to this character when you have the poison applied. Read the label. Still just getting mauled. Finally uses the OD, able to break out. Fairness of burnout over the cruel fate, but the level one interrupts that. So far. Can he get the level one up? No, the drive impact lands and Flux goes in this final round for him. Level three. 
double to straight into the green stuff twice in a row applies the poison but loses the turn for it was it worth it and the answer might end up being yes depending on how this goes but no with the throw huge for burkish see the interruption with the drive rush and medium punch a little more consistent for this character a little more common here from the side of flux in certain ranges and the cyclone jumps back holds parry as well that might be a dash up throw in the future here for burkish might read that that punish kind of throw interrupt though or a combo oh god after the poison bubble level three immediately what's the burnout if i burn out oh yeah we have a meaty fireball or meaty for heavy kick he actually gets a full conversion wasn't even on block flux makes work gets dropped down to losers so this is the character for me. She low tier. Chat and was like, any moth maniacs? Moth in maniacs. The chat. Come Why don't you focus on, up bro. on this match? We're starting off top eight with Mothman versus Stradio. Let's get it. Oh, and that's what that's what we're talking about. I mean, Cami does really well in the neutral, but 801 Strider's footsies are just different, bro. This character obviously does do well in them, but he is just another one of those players that makes the buttons look better than they are sometimes. Let's get the side switch. Nice interruption. Against the hooligan. The charge up. Mothman now in burnout. Back on drive gauge. The rumbling is coming. Careful now. As we said, the Superwoman punch. The air to air is right there. Drops right back down to the ground. Mothman has got to be careful not to put up in the corner. The call corner. Okay. Drive impact right back. Mothman. Rex it for about last second. Should be able to get close to killing. Got the bar at the bottom for that level two. Yeah, level one actually. Crack the back actually is level two. He spins. Mm, yeah, medium punch not able to follow up right there. Finds it for a medium punch, so gets accounted for that follow up. Great button lurches forward. So we'll catch him for coming in. We're not blocking. We're asking why Strider Canada. Well, he is currently Canada. I think he's residing in Canada. I've been seeing him play a lot of Midwestern people. Right? I don't know if he's still there, though. Okay, jump over. Pull confirm for the start. And is able to get the strike throw started. Level three is available for Strider, though. That's true. Jet pressure. Sprout arrow for the Oki. Back mini punch for the plus frames of flip out. Mothman capitalizing. It's with the super once again. Works at the back end. That's the win. Mothman. You really ever see candy players spinning that bar unless it's like level three, but well calculated for Mothman. Yeah, definitely paying off well. Is able to get up a game. Hold on here. Is able to. Oh, but the counter hit from Strider. It's a big open up to the corner. Good safe jump. And is able to get the anti air. That is strong stuff. You have to be so well spaced for that to be a functioning ant here. That's true. Oh, man, does get the side switch though. The charge up. Foul arrow once again. Frame kill. Attack on the throw though. Oh no, the cross up wasn't ready. Got a little too ahead of themselves. All oh, this pressure up in the corner. Does Mothman lead? Does get the dive kick. Start to commit to the crouching medium punch. I got blessed. Where are you going? Folding like an omelet. Omelet do fromage. Say it again, Dexter. Say it again. Oh, that was very risky choice there from Mothman, but it does work out in the end. And he gets the OD. He's going to get away with this round. Put it in the bag. What a steal. Oh, my God. Did he get in trouble with that previously? We saw Strider take that off the table. He said, don't put it back on. I'm not done yet with it. I like that. Don't take off things off the table until you feel it's the right time to shine. Never because it's been stopped and stuff one time doesn't mean you can't use it later on in the match. Mothman. Bringing it back. Wow, punish counter dive kick again. It's been a lot of hits that have started off that way, but brave on the throw. Dude. The throw. <laughs> <laughs> punish counter for that extra damage, right? Wow, that time to jump there? Are you? Oh, you're dead. Bro, how is this hooligan working out continuously against Strider, bro? Mothman.
is catching him, lacking and slacking. My person must get cracking, bro. Damn. I mean, maybe it just isn't. Maybe that's just not a part of the mental stack for him. I, I mean, not a lot of camis that you see playing at a super high level are using that as often as Mothman is. So might just be getting jump scared by it. I mean, it's not like 801 Strider doesn't know how to deal with it. It's just yeah. a lot to think about. <laughs> as Mobich says, like we see it from Kazunoko a lot in Street Fighter League, but it's like with dive kicks and stuff like that, having a lot of jumpings continuously, unless Mothman's leaving the corner, it's just been that as like the aerial approach. Nice side switch, use the OD to get outside. Feel free though, had to spend some of that bar and Mothman has to be careful now, not in the green anymore. Dude, a couple life and death situations in a row. Almost getting whiff punish there with the uppercut. Does get the punish counter, or the counter hit, excuse me, on the target combo. A reaction to Superman punch. It's difficult, difficult. We're looking for so many things. Damn, interrupted the dive kick and gets the reset with the command grab. Folding like laundry now. Nice. That's classic 8 one strider jump back jab. And you can see it's here again. No way. It's high enough. He's got to get deep with it. Drop a low on the dance floor. Crouching medium kick. He does with that button at least. And will put himself on set point. About to 3 0 8 on one Strider. Yeah, still so many different things thrown at Strider right now. It's hard. Still has a bar and a half still left to his name. Nice tech. Used a ton of his drive gauge there. Doesn't find much for it, but does find the clean jump in there on what seemed like an execution error from Strider. I can't imagine he wanted a jab in that spot. And he said. Knockdown. So they're overhead again. Safe from setup. The throw right after though. Ooh, avoids the crashing medium kick. Lucky. Might have been leading into Mothman getting even more oaky. Now he's looking for a whip punish. Heavy kick might work out, but can't find the right range. Finds a whip punch against a stand fierce. Turn combo. Yeah, he'll spin it now. You're in burnout. Definitely be spinning that bar to stay in and stave off set point. I feel like Strider is making a lot of good decisions. He's got a good read on the tempo for Mothman, but he's just a tiny bit late to the punch. I feel like a lot of the things that he's doing are correct. They're just a hair too late. Man, I was thinking Mothman would actually go for a four jump, but Strider getting blown up for the Superwoman punch. Three is on the side of Mothman. Now definitely looking for, oh God, the back door opener that is Mothman. Wins the OD spin knuckle, sends out the level three for the big three. He's locked in for more top eight action. Winner side, Mothman takes down 801 Strider. Dude, I would have said, it might have been a hot take for me to say that I don't think that Mothman beating Strider would have been an upset in the business. <laughs> That feels like it's from uh, personal experience. We'll get into that, you know, next time we got some yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle versus Jerry coming up. The match is going to be Do versus Nephew once again. I've seen these, play, these two play in a while, so we'll see what happens. Definitely not the most fun matchup, but Nephew don't care. Double shimmy finds the stand fears. It's foot the face from that corner's face. A throw follow too as well. Overhead, yeah. Yeah, I like seeing these jury players get real nasty, switching it up and sends up the level one. Should be enough to get it done, yeah. Nephew, bro. Dark nephew. Round two. Different, bro. He is on some different energy. Again, after Capcom Cup, Saint it's not like Knuckle Dude wasn't there too, but seeing him grind out matchups. Progress. He's always been good. One of the best of the West Coast. More so now, but Kenny Punch lands though. It's a shame, it's a level one. Sonic Hurricane, Maybe Sonic Boom. Perry's there from Nephew. Make sure that drive gauge is nice and juiced up. Kenny Punch with Sonic Boom. Try to go into the ODPP is there to stop that pressure. The dodge kick trade, not so good for Nephew. Lacking in health and drive gauge. Overhead. Nephew caught teching. It's gonna die to that decision. Could have held another throw, but we're going back to the throw of his own. All even out. Bar at the bottom for both characters. Important here for Nephew. Zip that Feng Shui engine if he wants to utilize it. Perfect carry. 
There it is for the corner carry. Here we go. We all ripped up. Drive impact, attack on drive gauge. And maybe he wants to hold on that bar at the bottom too as well. Into that sequence early. Get that corner push off the drive impact. Very smart stuff. That's a punish. Level three immediately. Neck will do in burnout. Let's get that bar back. We'll be around half-ish. But more importantly, has a nice little lead and Dal can fight in burnout. The DP is there, it's the anti choice, then heavy pit, and heavy punch, stocks up, finds a jump, fierce against the fireball. He's gonna back sort of away right now. Yeah, that's a bay air throw! Doesn't even wait for him to come down to the ground. Immediately takes to the skies and plants him. Down kick to get the hit round start. You'll see that quite a bit against like crouching medium kick from this character that is Jury. Good low profile, but. Why does he need an air throw? Because it's cool. Because he's had it since Street Fighter 2. Not like he had much to his name. Let's be real, Chad. It's not like Gal has much to his name. When we just got the Sonic Blade. He has got Nephew full screen. It's hard for her to get it. She doesn't really have a lot of anti-fireball tools. Has to go for like risky things like dive kick or hit the jump or parry. Stuff like that. See, again, the dive kick. Flash kick out the air. Heavy kick, counter hit, counter hit again. Dash of counter hit once again. Knuckle do the wall. Sonic booms. Wall of booms and buttons right now. Look at that. He doesn't just, he doesn't just sit back with the booms. He initiates. Drive rush overhead or drive rush like throw. It's never just one thing with his guile. That's why he's top class. Trade, crouching me to kick right after. Oh, the shimmy! He's seen Nephew do it to too many people said, never me. Won't let that happen to me, though. With that Air Force flow immediately taking him to the skies. Got on the Sonic Stepper. Not too much help. Meaty Boom sending it out once again. Drive Rush, the challenge, level two. Will do. I mean, this Nephew's still in this. It's a long road, though. We're doing these like one good OD flash kick. Too far with that drive reversal. Backs it up in the corner, nephew. Drops down with the dive kick. Drops set up. Foot dive, the throw. No way, nephew survives. The drive impact, but no splat. It was a true combo. Drive impact again to get the win, nephew. I mean, situations like that, when you find the knockdown and they're in burnout, you can potentially just checkmate them repeatedly with those meaties, right? If they don't have meter to be able to super and break out. Book clan robbery indeed. The picking what once again, level two situation. The throw this time. I do actually went for the tech. Before meeting kick connects with the counter hit. So that level one. Oh my. Reaction's on 10, bro. The stop sign with the jab. Halt criminal scum. Perfect parry in the gap. There's Stan Pierce follow up DP. Flash kick, I should say. Let me say it right, because C4's going to get into me. Oh, we get into him right now with that level three. We juiced up. Yes, sir. Last hit. Dude, and after a very impressive round from Nephew to be able to re kind of like rekindle the flame, keep yourself even in it, Do still finds a way to stifle it. Not only just Do's play style in general, but Guile himself is just such a moment. Oh? Oh? Is this happening? Is this really happening? I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I feel like Guile wins this. I, I do too. I was about to say, I'm down so might be nephew. I ain't gonna lie. Projectile <laughs> game ain't so fun. There's things, that, there's things that you can do at long range. You can do flicker at long range to catch a Sonic Boom. But like mid to close, it doesn't really work out too often. And you know, the projectile pressure is just too good from Guile. Yeah. What do you think about this matchup? Just getting to hear, uh, honestly, just getting to hear what Punk had to say about it kind of made it made sense. It feels like Guile does really well against most of the DLC. I mean, he just has a super stable normal. His fireball game is great. And a lot of the times you can play at a range where you're not too afraid of Ed's punish game. Because obviously the punish counter flickers are massive, but you're one of the rare characters that can kind of fight outside of that and also can contend CQC. You've got both. Yeah. 
Not looking Nephew. like it right now. Nephew's looking crazy right now. <laughs> Border pressure, man. Good with the flicker. Drive impact. Yo, D too far off for that, though. Knuckles do gotta find his way outside this corner. Hill to climb right now. Ooh, able to cover in time off that landing. And still finds the anti with the DP. 10 frames, so not the quickest thing, but still let that off clean. Nephew, is it? Let me find out this is the pick. Finds a punish finally after the Drake thing. You we'll probably see someone deal with that overhead. Well, I guess it's literally just a target combo overhead, but still. Look at the damage on that loop, but OD DP straight afterwards. Flash kick looking beautiful. I really like the overhead. Sequence too. The sequence is really nice. He goes for the cross, and then he takes one big step forward, and he goes for crouching medium. Because you know your first reaction against cross, if you don't think you can challenge it directly, take a big step mm -hmm. back. So that is an easy way to trip the legs and get a little bit of free damage. Advance. Of the the OD fist coming through, though, the knockdown. Definitely the throw. Drive rush. Hasn't caught up in the corner. We talked about this corner pressure being good for this character. Flicker really good. Does find the anti right there. Perfectly done the throw. Flicker once again. The tech, let's get your game there. Only two far out for it. Not only is gonna finish in time. Level three has to spin the CA actually. Extra damage to stay in the game. And stop this momentum. Yep, well worth it to take that out. Two bars is available for Nephew. So depending on the situation, depending on the clean touch or the throw, we might be able to see that rip right away. But with the punish counter, that's gonna do the level two. So half your life is just gone if you're due. This is terrible. OD, she got a counter and caught him pressing buttons. Deep the jump fierce. Careful now. That cross even kick can get clipped, but here's the drive impact. It's a clap back, level one. Corpse hop, side oh. switch, off the low. He didn't have the charge though. Oh my God, counter hit upside down kick as well. I like that four fierce every so often. You're looking for like crouching medium kick. Like that's one good way to bless that. Oh, level one to blow through the drive impact. He's so ready, Dark Nephew. You see how the hood is up on Ed? Same with Dark Nephew. He's sitting in his Go basement. Ahead. Lights are off. The hood is up, baby. It's Dark Nephew. Oh, and that is where you, you can't get lazy with your fireballs. If Ed is able to just interact by being able to break the fireball and then throw his own, he has such a big advantage there. It kind of forces you to either throw another boom or make a big decision about what you're going to do about his fireball. You have to have more variance. Yeah, OD is going to have to be more in play right here. Also, like Sonic Blade, is going to have to be more imperative. You can have to more variance with the fireballs and the flicker to combat this oh, character finds. My. Him trying to attack blesses him. The punish counter, six piece. There it is again, same situation as before, throws out the cross, and a lot of the times your first reaction is to get a little bit of space, do scouts it, crouching medium, and he's able to find a counter hit that time too. Set point for Knuckle Doom. Far at the bottom, level two, also could definitely help out against this character. Jump fierce, a down the range on it, so not sure to see that as a jump in choice, but dude, stand medium kick as the anti-air. Has to find his way outside that corner, though. You don't want to be caught up in that corner flow. Like, you've seen the flicker come through continuously. And for a medium punch, leading that crouching medium kick off the table. Let it be you. <gasps> Man. Oh, it's wrong with the DP to reach, though. Jumps over. Mad casual is able to get out of there. Does get the parry. Upside down kick. Not able to get the whiff punish, though. Hole. Level three immediately. I like this. Close to burnout. And this could be that not do the most like a meaty boom. Maybe drive our show up with the overhead. No, speedy boom is fine. Wow, burnout for the side of nephew. Catches the punish counter flash kick. Meaty boom is about to be it. One more touch, level two. Try to survive. But it's one hit. You'll take this hit, honestly. Knuckle do knows it's one touch, one tap, but please. A sneeze will kill right now, Proxy. Okay, and Dude is content. I was going to say, even if Dude doesn't find the hit there, he's content to play the Fireball War. If you both get out of draw, if you both get out of burnout. Kevin, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Rasheed. It's Rasheed. This is Aki. So we saw this previously, but it's going to be a different sort of style from both players. More aggressive, Aki, for sure. Little Kevin. When he gets the lead, he holds it, no matter what character he plays. 
That's just his style. That's his style in every game, too. I mean, I know I always uh, make the parallel, but obviously, uh, if you know Duel Kevin, you know he's a super prolific Marvel player. He plays Deadpool. He plays hard zoning space control in that game. And he's content to sit on leads. That is his winning style in that game as well. Nicely in terms of corner position, the driver's throw calls up the preemptive parry. Backs up the anti air heavy, makes it working out as an anti cross up tool. Level one with the leak that overhead. Use the distance as well. Fireball, no, just wait. No enhancement just yet. Other goose could probably check with the medium punch, possibly. No slide apply, get back. Oh, you're gonna invest that? You, you have to win now. Able to fully escape, but pushes it back. <laughs> Bro, I sometimes I forget. <laughs> Have you ever seen a tornado switch paces, bro? I, I've hey, lived listen, in the bro. fields, bro. I've lived at farms, bro. I see a tornado turn around like, hey, I ain't done. <laughs> listen, storm chasing is not an easy job, okay? No. Nice force knockdown and good conversion. Recognition of the situation from Dual Kevin, amazing. Very smart stuff right there. You've always been good about like that, like situational awareness, right? In any game that he plays. And this character just thrives off of it, as you can see. Up in the corner, though, his way out is Fly with some poison. Just get the light lash with the follow-up. Try first up with the throw. Attack them from Kevin. That light lash with too far gets hit with the OD. Area's right there. Plus off the crouching medium punch. Ended up in a pretty positive situation. Good on Elder Goose, though, to stay aggressive. Good read of the tempo, but a better one from Duel Kevin. Wakes up with a normal, goes for the overhead. Doesn't find a confirm, but a punish counter to start at level two. Elder Goose, make a big guess, man. Don't worry about the drive impact. He's out of there. Oh, that's going to be a... Oh, no, Duel Kevin. I thought he blocked. That could have been dive kick. The chip out. No answer. The jump in to get the win. If he had blocked at that level two, I believe he could have went for a dash up. Uh, Eagle Spike. I think that would have worked out for the punish. That would have chipped out, but the jump in was clutch. Elder Goose stays alive for a little bit longer. Mm, didn't quite get the punish he wanted there. Nice jab. Good interrupt. Take, take back the turn. Light mixer. Oh, he was yeah. dialed up for it too, you know. <laughs> he did the gotcha cool head and everything, bro. Absolutely, I, that I was the it. that was the clip. Oh my god, nice confirm. Get that extra bit of damage while you can. And burnout, this is bad. A lot of things you can do. The fireball gets through. Do Kevin again with that awareness. Always ready. Oh, so he actually got hit on the startup of level two. My mistake. I thought he had set up the level two and then Elder Goose a little bit later. My bad, my bad. Hit the nine frame startup. Okay. Other goose responding in time. Never mind. Ooh, perfect pair of jab. Loving of the ideas here. Good sweep. Heavy mixers there. That's a neutral jump. Anti air choice. A lot of range on that sucker, too. Ooh, commit to that same heavy kick. Got punished. The jump fears, perfect parry in the gap. Kevin Rots back, gets a knockdown. This level one to her name for defense. Oh, it was just a little misphased. Here comes the super, and that is going to finish it. So Kevin had the right idea, and I think the overhead might have been able to connect if he was just a hair closer. Medium mixer working out without OD. Rarity. The punish counter has to the drive rush to follow up though, but Elder Goose. Dressino takes back the turn. Cool fate. Gets the OD version off. Drive rush. Trying to do a reversal. On the other side with the jab starter. Heavy lash. Poison applied. The throw right after. Elder Goose with a nice, comfortable lead. Oh, big connection. Gets the side swap. Values the position over the damage, which is definitely correct. And a great anti air, but it's still side swaps. Back in, throw right after the Raven Cyclone. Level two. Meteorologist said you're gonna hold all of this, bro. Careful now. Yeah, get hit, try to pull up these fireballs and the heavy mixer enhance. This is real bad. I'll goose up in the corner. Only has level one to his aim for defense. Reversal jab not working out. Crouching medium punch hits. Dude, Kevin Luke's in a success. Up around in the game right now. Oh, 
Ooh, good block on the OD. Trying to go for the jump scare, trying to predict a fireball when he can. Light mixer. Doesn't carry just in case. I don't think this might go for some throws up this light mixer. You see light mixer quite a bit. So switch it up a little bit. Off the overhead. He's out of there. Little Kevin. Takes back his turn after the snake legs. Snake stance legs. Level two also could come through. Blue Kevin needs like a nice knockdown. He's be worried about level two. Oh, he wanted Crouch Fierce activation. For out though. Wow, perfect parry. Just holds up forward straight afterwards. Level two after the fireball jungle gets better frame advantage here. Look at how much distance he gets to close. And you're in burnout. You're holding every single chip, every single piece of this chip. Oh, D. You're dead. He's at the level one. And he still had the heavy mixer to get it done. Bro, Dual Cap is ridiculous on this character. The bar buildup has been insane. It's, it's one of those things where this character is so strong because of the fact that he's so aggressive and he's always just putting pressure on you on block, on hit. He's looking for the bar at the bottom. Get more and more of these level twos. Sometimes two in a round. Oftentimes two in a round at high level. What am I saying? I was going to say, this character is like just building so much damn meter. Especially when the rounds are even like this, already at a bar with both players at a pretty decent health total right now. But that is changing in a hurry. Elder Goose, clean touches after clean touches, gets the drop, but still in a really prime position for offense. Self and burnout. It's the way to play. Gotta keep up in the corner. Snake stance, kicks. Okay, stay solid. I thought it was gonna be like a drive impact to run it back to Kevin. Oh, the Goose getting a cruel fate, plus his health. And Kevin's still able to get that crouching kick, ends it with the knockdown. Drive rush in, perfect parry this time. That drive rush, medium punch, back throw, up in the corner you go. Oh, was trying to look for the burn out there, but didn't want to overcommit on the block string. Still is able to find it though, and level two is available for dual Kevin. What if that crouch fist was the activation point? They choose not to spin it just yet. Doesn't really need to right now, I guess. On hit, never mind the Crouch Fierce is fine at level two. The pick up OD, set point, dual Kevin. Still sitting on a bar. Definitely in a really good position. Trying to build up a level two for sure. He is able to go for the, okay, really, really nice on the reversal. Nice interruption. Crouching with a kick pop after that crouching light punch, punish counter. Fantastic realization here from dual Kevin. Maybe Cyclone will be out of there though. Threads in you, finds a way out. Like she does have some people up the corner as you see. Hit confirm, Elder Goose, he is loose. That crouching medium kick in the level three immediately, Elder Goose, fantastically done. Oh my God, and is able to get the punish counter, reads the fireball. Oh, and freshly burned out when Elder Goose has plenty of room now. Yeah, and guaranteed chip at that point with the meaty fireball. Listen, if you went for that raw, hang him on the table. I can't lie. Drive a verse, we'll back it up a bit. Elder Goose, bring that port heavy kick, backs up, gets a punish. Outside the distance, against like Drive Rush medium port heavy kick. He understands the range that this character wants to play at with Drive Rush and with these buttons behind it. Anti air, none, nothing coming with that fireball. Brother, up in the corner though, we all crumble to Rashid. That's where he's at his best. His character, she does have ways to get out. We've seen like OB stance cancel, like slither on out, but. The throw still gets blown up. She's too tight. You're not all right now. Definitely not all right with that level two Yasar coming through. The win condition. Oh my God. And it's perfectly spaced there. Is able to just mash the jab. And just gets a clean punish counter. Not a lot of life left on the table. Gets the clean hit. Not enough to kill, but the throw. Just enough. The drop kick will do it. Still Kevin finds the fourth though. And is able to find the set. We're able to expand how many players we're able to pay out in the tournament. Right now it is top four, but if we can push it a little bit further, we can get even more players to get paid out. So definitely make sure you're checking out that match arena with the amount of people we have. We can easily knock out sponsor quests to be able to put ourselves in a spot for it. As KP would uh, say, you know, what, what if we, what, just what if we got- Wouldn't it be weird? Wouldn't it be weird? <laughs> wouldn't it be, 
would be kind of odd. Just to see. the goat. Oh my I god. Oh, so I see Flux on the JP right now. So the hockey. This top tier can work out right now. No other problems are getting in them. Get a little bit more on form. Baits out the Amnesia nice and easy and breezy. Let's look at season. Perfect KO. Let's not know the prodigy. Catch up over. Perfect parry. Gets the throw. That Stan Fierce, we talked about that button being more with punishable. And someone like Luke can see Stan medium, Stan Fierce. A lot of buttons he got. Crouching medium punch, what am I saying? Stan Fierce does work out, though. He backed up. Now, the parts are out. Oh my god, I respect that. Triple dash again against Luke. You got the parcher above it, might as well. You got the drone strike in there, bro. Some old man to sleep with a the throw. There's a whip punish again, Flux. Just maybe not comfortable with this character. He's some Sam Fierce when he shouldn't as like an anti shimmy to up in the corner. That is not the button it was. Still good. Oh no, no one. Looking like getting punished, he gets a jump in. Should be the win, but definitely could have been way worse for you, my dog. Thought he had the confirm, thought he had that level two, but still got super lucky. Yeah, standing heavy punch. Uh, and you see the second standing heavy punch coming out. I assume that was a, uh, that's gotta be a uh, a macro for uh, <laughs> for dry rush at that point. It's an awkward thing that happens, but is able to get the interrupt, departure come through, and that is an anti-air strong stuff. And look at the life total already. You got deleted. Yo, Dricky coming through with the 25? Oh my god. See? He wanna see. He said just for the laugh of it. Alright. Just just for a lark. Chat clutch ups 10 cents. Ten I cents. need 10 cents right now from someone. Clutch up. Lock in like right now. No there one we go. Back though gets the win. Let's go. <laughs> That's the whoever came Thank through. You. Put the straight to the exact 600 so that is an even wider prize payout for the players thank you very much for that we appreciate you insane amount look at that noah's combos is getting better and better perfect's not dropping as much empty throw call out the parry oh no careful not triple feet reset with the command grab too much startup he goes north and not go south takes care of jp noah gonna put himself on game point he's a jump gonna help out Uh, the overhand just jumps straight in afterwards, trying to go for a little bit of a mixtape. I almost looked like we were about to see a Wolfgang video right there, but doesn't quite <laughs> find it. Good God. Damn, what an anti-OD fireball. The do so, the charge up, the throw right after. Noah playing like the rent is due, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, might be. Oh my God. Two games in a row, but they have been bangers of games. Fluxwave is playing very, very good. With the exception of that one very weird exchange on the whiff punish on the uh, on the super, Fluxwave is playing tight. It's just that Noah is just getting way more off his exchanges. Stan Fierce finally comes through for just the fireball overhead. Nothing big though, but it's just that Stan Fierce has to be running in a little bit better. It has to be careful about that. Fireball at that range, see drive rush medium at mid range. Really good to just drive rush in with the medium punch button of Luke. Interrupts with the jab, reaching. Flux, finds a stand Fierce, fireball knockdown. Pierce looking for the knockdown. As we that drive rush medium again, she make it closer. Or even a jump in right there. Oh, Crouch Pierce maybe wanted a sandblast there. Either way, it does not work out. Up for that drive rush media. An OD fireball. The light. It was a fake out. It was a bait the entire time. It's a crushing medium kick. Drive, impact, perfect pair. We react right back with the impact of our own. Off the backboard. Finds a side switch. Stan Fierce finish. That was super sick. Flux wave. That was like, he killed the drive gauge and he killed the character. That's so annoying he can do that. <laughs> It's so I mean, I mean shout outs. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> annoying. Level two, here we go off the plus frames, goes for the jab, looks for the mix up. Nice, parries most of it. Finally gets a hit at the end. Does get the interrupt. Well, it's trying to initiate, but it's kind of hard because no one loves when people get close to him. It's kind of the gameplay I feel like of JP is you have to initiate a level a little bit more. Like you have to get closer, mid range to close range with this character. Perfect parry, takes it back. Take back in blood just yet, though. Swing that bar. A little bit heavily scaled. Punish crushing meter kick, of course. On the minus eight. Oh, 
roll and you want to get out of this round without using the three bars gets the knockdown look for anything oh dtp had a follow-up too just in case no the prodigy bro one round away keep it on point drive rush throw punish counter extra damage that bar at the bottom Dan fierce blocks it out drive rush throw once again too many preemptive parries after these buttons that trade some favor no one has a clock in the corner anti right there strange now level two is off burnout yeah but this doesn't matter to like so you know the prodigy i mean if we talked about it once we talked about it a million times as we get a drive impact maybe it's gonna matter a little more now level one oh my god oh. Sometimes it does. Shot. Sometimes it does. But with that said, like you were mentioning, Noah is the type of player where he will play as aggressive as he needs to be. Uh, the drive gauge is a resource. You got to spend it. Yeah. He's got the bar at the bottom to back himself up, right? Like the utility yeah. that Luke has compared to other characters or their, you know, CAs or, you know, super just in general is not comparable. Level one is a great anti fireball. Level two is a damage. Level three, obviously, we see the damage that dealt from that. Level two also has a lot of core carry. Noah. Like half gauge, get it back, be aggressive, marching forward, overhead, crouching new punch, doesn't commit to anything right after it though. The fake out does clip the stand medium kick. Look at the confidence. Walking in my man zone with a crouching medium kick. Level one, me, 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 me. No one gets it done, dog, again. He's got the bar at the bottom. He feels safe, he feels comfortable. Like some covers or something. Mm. Kind of punch there from Flux. Damn, he's so rude. <laughs> an asshole. Level yeah, two still below. Yeah, could come through. We don't even need it. Oh my god, an offense like that. Absolutely not. Level one for the perfect. And another just gets one major whiff punish and the sequence just does not stop. That is the strength of JP, brother. Beautiful. I mean, honestly, his character still super strong. Stan Fierce, yeah, it was nerfed. Departure, kind of nerfed, but he's still JP. And me, get kind of nerfed too as well, but hasn't really been an issue right now. Flux, well, saying his defense pretty damn good. His offense has been fantastic. Jump back. It all needed small nerfs, it's okay. Same brain cell. It did, it did. <laughs> Both of them tapped the parry. Wakes up with a super! Oh, level two interrupted! You can't do that! Let me show you my super! Diddle plan is all the fist land. Eat your teeth like cereal. Oh, oh no. God. I'm so nervous. In burnout, trade. Gotta be careful. Has level the whip. one. I'm able to punish the trade? The anti-air OD upper, that's a downer. Noah taking down Flux Wave. We've seen in, a, in an area with hungry ass bears. Put some honey behind him too as well. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a match, bro. <laughs> oh, still Kevin and Nephew. <laughs> oh, so unserious. <laughs> A nephew back on the end. He heard our cries. He's like, I'll give you some more, Ed. Drive Rush 4 Fierce is plus. I do like seeing that. It's minus 3 normally. It's obviously people ask about that in the chat. But you have to have Drive Rush behind it a little bit more. Oh, fuck. to the bears. Someone in the chat said, Ed Few? I like that. <laughs> the, the Ed Few action. OD Fireball. He opens things up. Is able to get the empowered situation, but doesn't quite need it. Just dashes forward and takes the plus frames. Let's get the ODDP, though. Back to neutral, he slides on, you see him backing up for that express purpose. Expeditiously, he gets Grizzly and mauls him up and gets in to get his win. Duel Kevin with the first victory. Oh, man. Okay, straight into level two. Gonna set up for the loop. Just get as much damage out of it as you can. Superman punch and the full carry. Look at the corner carry for this guy. Into the meaty. That may be more important, actually. You know, like level two for Rashid got a lot of uses, but for him, it's about that corner position. But listen, the size was coming through off the OD. And now, this R is out the win condition. We talked about this so because it's such a big, important part of his character. You can't do that. You're still out. Still active, my friend. Load didn't quite get it. Nice, perfect parry on the fireball. 
terrible. It's, yeah. I mean, normally it's hard to whip punish heavy kick. This guy's got the range, so not strange to see that when he backs up for that mid range sort of area. Stand medium kick, heavy kick, crouching medium punch. Crouching medium kick, I should say. It's not an edge. All will do some work. Mm, good interrupt though, and straight into level two. We've seen this exact sequence a couple times in a row, but this time he uses the flicker to get even more corner carry. I love that idea. Pass mid screen too. Kill rush right after, backs up, finds a sweep. And the side switch off the hard knockdown, level two. Just C twister. Is this the sequel? Jump fierce, OD. Oh my god, no shot. Nephew survives the whole goddamn thing. And he gets to pull in, but doesn't get the full whiff punish. Is going to be able to get the kill in the end, though. Very nice. You know what's been distracting me? Low key, you could just take the shoes off Rashid's costume and put them on the costume Nephew's wearing, and it would be goaded. Why are we taking Sorry. shoes? Though? I don't know. I just was looking at. Was looking what did at he the, mean by I this? At the fit. I was looking at the fit. What did he mean by this? You a Drake player? Anyway. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Blitz, the follow up. I like the aggression we see from the side of the I mean, this character's offense is fantastic. It's just his defense ain't as good. The temporary start from the ODDP. Entire is not so good. Offense, the damage could definitely be dumped out. The jacket, so give him the Rashid jacket too. That's fine. Okay, pull in plus frames. Got the throw. Very nice. Level two on deck for both players here. You want to get out of this round without having to spend it though. I have to. Level two. Yeah, Duke Kevin's like, I gotta send it now. Oh, he did the dash up, he still got hit. He did dash up OD, still got hit with a level two. Brother. Oh, we, you already got hit by that. How many times do you have to be taught that lesson, nephew? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he does have a level two available for himself. So if he can find that touch, he's going to go into the OD. The OD or ors. Maybe be able to set up this level two. There we oh. go. Sequence, show me something. The throw, kill rush. So imperative. Fireball out. Plus, wow, delay jab. If you some of that bar at the bottom. See some level three, maybe like a hit in level two. Oh, the jump in is there. Commit to the flicker. The fob was gonna kill. Mm. Okay, maybe not. But one more hit to make a drop though. Dude, Kevin set up for that jump perfectly. He sets up for a shimmy, kind of doubles down on it in the weirdest way, takes the tiniest baby a step forward that is almost in range for his poke and then he jumps your mental stack is so unbelievable you have smoke coming out of your ears at that point with the amount of stuff you have to think about in that situation dude awesome looney tune style and you <laughs> talked about it 10 frame start was the quickest anti you have so you're not reacting like the way you'd like to in the first place Actually, don't get a punch kind of an anti DP kill rush right after. This time the OD DP against the Stamp Fierce. Initiates something. Slides, you see him just backing up against the fireball. Like he knows where to stand. That slide to land. Very tricky to do, too. All right, though. Kevin. The switch up is fantastic against the fireballs, the jump ins. Too much to deal with. Yeah, not closer for the heavy kick. I don't think he would have got the drive rush heavy kick, so he just stops. It's a level two off the knockdown. Throw again. Okay, but the OD. Okay. Set up there. No setup required. Level two. Activate. Gonna get a lot of his meter back here. Plenty of time to build this up. Simple stuff. Let's get that Oki. Kevin just delaying a little bit. Jab off, counter hit. Looks the OD DP. Flicker. Has to cancel the kill rush back to avoid the fireballs that could come up. Could be also a dive kick too as well. Or even spike that shit. Gotta be careful oh, about how tree. you hold gotta be careful about how you hold flicker at full screen too, because Kevin will just start charging fireballs. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. He could just enhancement in. Throw one more hit will do it. Keep up on level two. Make this a bit easier for him. No shot. He's got to do it now. Do it now, Gohan. Parry's everything. Oh, so parry. Look at the answer overhead. Does it work? Wee 
didn't die for that? Oh my god, that jump forward from Nephew. I cannot believe he didn't get punished for that. Games a game round around plus frames off the Ford heavy kick. Hands with a drive rush. Has level two. So Kevin has to get that knockdown off like a back throw or something like that. A hard knockdown, some distance with it. Right after a tech on the throw. You want to play at, but again, that jump in. They just pointed out how Duke Kevin has been finding the right ranges and he finds a Ford heavy kick now. Level two, definitely a great decision. Setup time. Trying to get the vortex here. Punish counter gets the trade, not the trade you want to see though. Ends up having to block and doesn't get the jump away that he was looking for. A little extra damage on top. Pass it. Off the ODDP. Four fears. Still finds a conversion. Kill rush. Cycle Blitz, go right after it. He has him up in the corner. So he thinks you have the flicker. Pulls him close. ODDP! Nephew, bet big on that ODDP on his own plus range. On his he own plus him close, range. bro. On his own plus range, bro. How oh you gonna do that on your own God. plus range? I respect that. Oh my God, Dark Nephew. Look at the damage off the starter there. Third of the life straight off the table. Sets up for the plus range again. This time he back dashes. A stark change. <laughs> Bro, nephew kind of cooking on this character, can't lie. He's always been the one to pick up characters pretty quickly. Backs up, perfectly done with the anti right there. Chavs were able to finish it off. I don't know if he would have been able to go in the cycle blitz right after. That's why the double DP for the perfect KO, it don't matter, Bro. Dark Nephew on set point with the Ed Boys. Life has many doors. He's trying to open one up to get through loser side. Punish counter, good amount of damage. Uh, considering the scaling. So look at that poke, looks for the flicker, and you would have just been walked to the corner so fast. Kevin gets the jump out, but even with the jump out here, Nephew's been doing amazing at just being able to play active on defense. He just up forwards, gets out, gets a punish counter, and now huge advantage. Level two about to be on deck for both players though. So this is the ace and hold for both of them. They gotta stay close. About mid range at least. Don't let him Dude, do it, yeah. Yeah. Level three. No, I guess level two wants to corner carry. I'm going to also back him up if need be. Kill Rush finds a stand fierce and the OD fall right after. It's Dark Nephew taking over through Kevin with the edge. Ed Nephew. Any character he picks is going to be amazing. Like that's yeah. not that's that's just he can't be in the conversation for anything. He don't count. What counts right now is who wins who's on the losers. You know, the prodigy versus Strider. Perfect carry, but perfect carry right back. There's a certain range. Strider rush up like that. And he's ready. Jump away, spends the armor, tries to break through, doesn't quite find what he's looking for. Good stop sign, not cancelable on the standing medium kick, but obviously an amazing button. We see it all the time from Luke. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. That rush, finds the anti right there, even waited for that jump. Luke's coming through a new DP OD edition will come through to as well. Punishes. Perfect parry on the jump in. Safe to set up. Eight. Couple good stops in a row. Slow and steady. Looking for the Superman punch a couple times in a row. Trying to burn down the drive gauge where you can. Noah is tapping parry quite often, but in the end is able to get the punish there. Very negative on the drive reversal. <gasps> Super! He calls it out. Double dash up for the grip, and that's it. Noah the prodigy. Now calling it the reversal as a rebuttal here from Strider. And fierce integer, yeah. This can be bad. We said that she dies to those and throws. Like the throw pressure and the crouching mini kick could be deadly. Mm. Let's try to have to deal with and crouching light kick too as well. Ooh, perfect parry on offense. It catch out just a little bit. Overhead. Nice. Anti. Are you kidding him with the back of the hat? <laughs> Level three immediately. Noah. Gonna land a perfect KO on Strider. You definitely have to give credit to Noah. His his strategy with this character definitely has evolved. We've seen Noah the Burnology continuously, but it hasn't always been like that. It's been like, I'm going to save my bar for certain things. I'm going to hold on my bar, like I'm up in the corner. Maybe a little bit more on the side of like typical loop play to stay a little bit more solid. And I like that variation of Noah. 
look at that. Calling the driver of Stan Fears. Got medium kick. Has him caught up in the corner. Okay. A huge whiff punish. Big reward. Goes for level one. Just a little bit of extra damage to the not only the health bar, but the drive gauge. And that should be enough. Noah is looking ridiculous. The offense just structured perfectly at every single stage. And all this is just coming off of clean footsies wins. There's no brute force. There's no drive rush sliding in just like a buttons. He is cleanly winning footsies repeatedly. Calling a lot of what Strider wants to do. We've seen drive rush called out. Even that wake up Gladius was called out across the medium field. Talking yeah. about it, he's a different his character up in the corner. Doesn't have the best defense besides the armored stuff. Perfect parry on the drive rush stand. Fierce reactions are there from Noah. This is how that offense gets started. Goes for the standing Pierce. Nice. The punish counter. Level one breaks through and gets the burnout. Throw up in the corner. The air there is right there. Bar at the bottom. ODDP deletes that option off the table. And I'm going to go for the anti your Strider. Blocks up the overhead. That's a very typical thing you see from a lot of loot players. That rush overhead. Not opening him up. He's back with Bar. He's there. It's a finisher, though. Drive rush crushing light kick reset grip and that's it way to get out of that round after getting burned out super early and just kind of again kind of getting beaten down in footsies in certain spots you say again it's a blessed button we're selling a character that has to predictive with their answer with like crouch fierce and air to airs charges up catches a button got a punish counter up in the corner lucky boy now he needs to finish the job he's got level three at the side of his you know he can spin that level three but if you're strider yeah probably will spin right now to get your bar back yep even up and the life total send him to the corner mm. corner pressure as well in burnout he does have bar at the bottom wow the air to air again drops him down to the ground oh but he Bro. holds north to not get gripped noah was that three? Was that four three. interactions in a row? Your boy is holding north. Oh my god. Don't wanna go south, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> six feet under is not a good way to go. Wow. That is your boy had the ring on. <laughs> Pulling him up. Good god. Nice Damn. hit here though. Good sequence. Right after. Yep, just side switching. Knowing this character can't have like the best sort of tools in terms of stopping you. I'm trying to leave the corner just in general. The throw. Back to the entire crouch. There's no DP. Nice and easy. Very simple option. Cancel with the OD DP. Spins both bars and gets a grip right after. Proxy. I love that whole sequence. I love using the follow up as well. Better frame advantage. Looks like you're trying to scheme for something crazy. Just a throw, simple, safe. I love it from Noah. Dude, this might be the. Dude, we are in like two touch territory right now. Depending on what happens here with Strider, you're going to lose a massive chunk of your life on the next hit, but great crouching fierce. Perfect parry. Fat punish. It's been just yet. Heavily scaled. Next sequence. You can see like a back heavy kick starter. Something real nasty. The overhead backs up. Saw the counter. Looking for cross cut DP. Didn't really work out. The air air is right there. The walk up throw, Strider. Bar in his name. The driver, Stan Fierce. And finish it without level three. Yeah, the OD for the victory. Having to spend no bar is massive here. But Strider, again, even when we've seen him get this level three and get that corner pressure, it has not quite been able to turn into enough. And there's the shimmy. Your knuckle. Frame kill. Right there with the crouch fierce. He wakes up with light and the light knuckle. Once again, ground and pound. Takes Strider down. He's got the bar. In terms of, I should say, health, really. He baits it out. Back heavy kick punish, and that's more than enough to find the finish. Yep. And you hit it as soon or as have, you splash. Or just have an ounce like, of timing. <laughs> I mean, a, crumb. a crumb. A <laughs> crumb. No need for that. <laughs> Got dial now. He said, I want the vanilla. <laughs> no chocolate. I'm oh the dial. Mothman on the scammy cammy. 
Already using that spin knuckle, a little bit of harassment there. Definitely looking good. Upside down kick, working pretty well in the Cami matchup as well, it seems. Yeah, I guess Crossy would kick is fantastic. Nice from Perry Drive Impact on Drive Gauge. Plus, go right after. Boy, he's so good at that. And he goes sweep to get the side swap with Bazooka Knee. I love the idea. Oh, he flashed completely. There's the, oh, the back that's too far off for though. The interaction that he'd like to have, the dot kick does land against the crouching meter kick. You see that continuously, but still gets the crouching meter kick. Punish counter flash kick right after it. Oh, God, are you kidding me, Proxy? He gets the overhead follow up. He's waiting. Dude just scares people from jumping so much. Mothman was so far away from that light cross, and just the thought of Dude being able to take that big step forward and go for the standing medium kick anti-air was enough to for him to just kind of take it. Took a lot of chip on fireballs he didn't need to, but a good sequence to start already to the corner. Delays, delays on the crushing medium punch, with counter conversion, medium crush fears, but Dude responds, takes back his turn. Level three immediately puts Mothman in the back burner in terms of drive gauge. Has to be careful about level three, but Knuckle Doo, this is where he wants to be, right? Bearing a burnout, harassing with Sonic Booms, walks him to the corner, dog walks him. Oh, then gets off leash. Had to block that one. Bazooka Nia, really good spacing, and able to take that big step forward afterwards. Nice tech. Nice interruption, too, as well. The crush unit punch that you had prefaced previously. A stop sign button by the fall of Knuckle Dude. First victory. Damn, that was right away. Tell me how you really feel. Nice, perfect parry. Can't quite get there for the punish, though. Let's slip in the crouching mini kick drive rush. Dive kick after the target conversion has him cut up in the corner. Start with that throw, though. Knuckle Dude takes advantage. He even saw the whip and got the hit right after it. One thing for someone to mess up with the other person, take advantage. Next level, Knuckle Dude. Perfect carry was a bait the entire time. Kill your drive gauge. He's just so ready for it. But we do it again. Not scared at all. Gets the throw. Drive reversal. One of the few God players I see use drive reversal more often than not. To be honest, to back him up a bit. Has more drive gauge, so it's not bad for him. Interruption again, too far out. You see him shifting where he places himself continuously, backing up, maybe going for it a little bit, so that the back fist don't always hit. It's unfortunate. Mothman does get the crouching to punch follow-up though right here. OD though, dude takes back his turn. And that's that sequence we were talking about before on that slow fireball standing medium kick is such a dominant anti or gets the overhead. It all combo. Level three, a ton of damage. Will kill. Next hit will. Mini Sonic Boom. Nobody goes for the dash up. Now it's burnout, but you have to worry that level three. That bar at the bottom, that CA. No, see ya. Down and lose or soon, because Knuckle Dude's on game point. Dude, the non perfect boom is the perfect is the perfect thing to throw at that point, too. You don't get that early audio cue of the perfect. How you gonna yeah. level three that? No shot. No shot. You gotta be dealing with the devil to do that. Especially when you're with no health too as well. Knuckle Dude's been so good about burning out Mothman. Flash Jeez. kick lands. She has a fat hurt box, but even at that distance, for Knuckle Dude to get that hurt box is insane. <laughs> Standing medium kick. I mean, it is, hurt box. it is the hurt box too as well. The, hurt, the hit box is fat too as well. Oh, you meant something else. Oh. Good conversion. Shut up, Proxy. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking good. One round away. <laughs> And he's picked by save lives. I don't know. The flash kick ender. He's on a boom and a blade. The variance is too much. Stan Fierce. Okay, he sets the pressure. Stan Fierce drive rush up right after. Oh my god, that's perfect place for the son of Moth. And the dive kick does land. Nice jab. Worked out beautifully. Punish counter. Good tech, though. Do his fearless and strike throw. She mid screen, right? Like most people just hold the throw. The variance in terms of defense is fantastic. Until he gets hit with a drive impact. With the DP Mothman capitalized, point of pressure, throw punish counter. Again, another grip. 
Oh, the bait! I don't even know if that was a bait. He actually went for the back medium punch. And then the drive reversal came through. Two for Alco for the follow up. Mothman taking advantage. Okay. Reversal again. Does get the knuckle, though. Into the corner. Beautiful punish. Got a whip punish. Face his character. He knows. Damn, again! The thickness on this character, I'm telling you, dog. Nothing to stand in range. The final punish counter, level three. Close to that victory. So pretty aggressively closing the distance. Sobot looked good. Right, we're going to get the win. Mothman. I'd love to have a level three, some sort of CA to route things back. Dive kick the trade. Who's favorite? He's got more enough health. These transactions, he'll take them all day. OD flash kick is the play against the hooligan. You're not getting in. Three games, knuckle dude. That's why we see these Crazy. cats from like volume. Nephew coming through with the Ed once again. It's I, I believe it's right or die with this character from here on out. It's Noah's loop. Already a strong start. They will find the throw. That big delay, dude. He lets it run for so long. It's so difficult to deal with. Late crush and new push, but didn't get too much off of that, though. The counter conversion. The drive impact, though. Everything is A-OK -okay here for Noah. It's all the OD gauge to get the kill. And I, I got to wonder. There's some characters I feel like that are a little bit harder to deal with. Even though you were, like, in the a DLC character, and it's hard to deal with what you're putting on. Luke is just so solid no matter what happens. And Noah's strategy to just rush you down and feel uncomfortable might make it kind of hard for Kendra that doesn't really have that much defense. Gonna open up in a better step back. Spends a ton of the drive gauge here, but look at the plus frames. Look at the corner control. Half your life left over, but a back dash and a back throw. Pressure on all the old D. Look, it comes through. Meaty fireball. Gets a follow up. Cycle blitz. Fireball game, delay crushing medium punch. Again, working out for Noah this time. The full conversion, level three immediately. Brother, not enough to kill though. Next hit will. One touch. He just jumps in with a jump medium kick of all things. And Noah takes the first victory. He's been holding North quite a bit. That up button definitely is getting a lot of wear and tear on it today. <laughs> Okay, good answer here though. And the step back for the extra bit of damage. Jab pressure coming through from the center now. With that OD flicker, but it hasn't been working. Noah has been aerial continuously, so rather approach not only working out, charge up too far out. Wow, the whiff punish. I mean, using the button just as God intended. Exactly how it was designed to be used. Perfect. It's hard to try to shimmy this character because the two years are so far. Old B, back throw though on the wake up. Oh, has some cut up in the corner. Again, defense not so good for this character. In eight defense. Except with the button. Oh, EDP. Rouse it right back. Meaty crushing, medium punch for the follow up. Beast mode trying to feast mode on all that drive gauge. Next, maybe Stan Pierce backs up just again. Oh my god, but again, the step back doesn't get pulled, doesn't quite get what he was looking for, but still fine. Gets the burnout. Here comes level two. Nothing to answer it. The charge up in level one to get it done. This won't kill. It will. Wow. Dude, After it does so flicker. much. That last hit was a grip. Level two into the pull down. That level one does so much damage. It feels like it doesn't scale. I know that it does, but it feels like it doesn't scale. <laughs> Insane. The knockdown here. Back rise. All weeks up to violence. Chaser. I look up in the corner. The overhead lands. Oh, I didn't get the crouch fierce follow up. I don't even know if he wanted crouch fierce, to be honest. Okay, another tough situation. Let's press something. Sandblast ends up frame trapping from there. Pixel of life left. We're gonna use the OD, might as well. 
Parry. And the punish. Wow. Noah, right with that stand medium kick. And not a very, like, uh, risky tool to utilize, right? Like an in sort of poke. Made something ODDP, though. Did it early, and that was aware. Another DP. That one. Oh, no, bar. That was raw. That was DP Tartar. Send it back and get it cooked. Oh my god, that kept juggle? I thought for sure it was gonna drop, just barely was on the tip. Brother, drive impact. One more hit will be it. The BD stand appears. No vegan option right now. Nephew. Noah. Game to game, round to round, all evened out. Pivotal. Never mind, Neff. You definitely want the top ass. My bad, bro. <laughs> I know your game like that. My, my bad, G. I was like, well, this Japanese player is really good, but Dark Neff is definitely different, bro. They ain't know about you. I ain't know about you either like that. Kind of well for the whip punish there, but mid-range footsies. I mean, Noah is content to play those all day long. And this level three wall does do a good amount of damage. Is mostly about the drive gauge. Fully stocked now for Noah. Yeah, Stan Pierce drive reversal to back him up a bit. It's caught from the corner, though. You want to be his head. Lighting up the perfect. Rising upper finisher, crushing medium punch. The trade right there, not bad. The jump in, knowing that it's hard for him, the anti air gets a throw right after. I like that Noah's like, I know that you can't anti air, so like that will be like a big access point for me every so often. Obviously, 10 frame, if you're at the right range, you'll be able to get that off, but every single time, Noah takes advantage. He's on game point now. Also, if I'm remembering the gauges correctly, as we get this perfect parry into the back throw, I think if he ODDPs that, I think he's just burnt out. So he has to go back to neutral with uh, being in burnout, which is a, just a terrible fate. Yeah. Another crushing medium punch. Held the parry preemptively. He takes advantage and gets a back throw of his own after that sequence. The target combo. Back throw again. So nobody want to be in that <laughs> west side of the screen. I love that. I love the idea. As soon as you see him committed to the ground to blocking that fireball, that is a godlike charge. Mm -hmm. Side switch, hella plus two as well. We charge it all the way up. Isn't it? He's like dummy plus on full charge, isn't it? It's enough where you can't take back your turn or take a trade. I was going to say, you get Halo was like plus it. ones where you're like, yeah, I can take the trade. No, no, no. Plus four. Yeah, yeah. Plus four, which is anything above plus one to me in this game is insane. So it was his damage though. That back heavy kick snuck in to level three, of course. Not juiced up. We like to do this without the level three utilized. Oh, Thanks, TV. bro! Oh my God! But the answer back still. Noah's gonna make it even on round. Nephew got to stay alive. Almost has that level two built up though. So, in good standing, regardless. Yeah, if you get that corner carry off and make the corner pressure scary, that's gonna be the most pivotal thing. I feel like. We'll see if they can make that happen. It's been a thing on defense in terms of finding like ODDPs and like maybe even a perfect parry that has been difficult for Nephew. Characters is not built for that. The ODDP is there. No one doing whatever it takes. The momentum back in his hands. Fierce, DP. That doesn't do damage. What happened? Look at his life bar, dude. <laughs> the charge up. Heavy Kickstarter. Yeah, level one. Watch the health. Gone. Deleted and depleted. Nephew. Evens things out with Noah. I don't want to hear anyone say this character don't do no goddamn damage. I swear to God. Heavy Kickstarter, you know it's going to be insane. Don't matter. Who said? Check Twitter. That's all. I well, you know what? That's answered my question, too. Like, why would I even trust Twitter? Trust the people that play the character, like nephew. At that point, it's my <laughs> fault. I, I didn't mean. Oh no, that happens so often. I hate that so much. You just barely get to the point where you're crossed up. It comes out of cross cut. You go in the wrong direction. I hate when that happens. It feels terrible. In the corner, snatch for the plus frames. Throw though. Media snatch really hard to deal with. Overhead lands. Drive rush medium, of course. Hella plus, plus one for some fun normally on block, even more so after drive rush, plus five. Crash to kick, caught him pressing something right after when he shouldn't. Beast mode, baby. That's enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, I go back. Should be. <laughs> Whoa! Unless. No Unless. way. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I respect that, but 
He's expecting ODDP there. It's super, it's same thing. We blocked that too. Yeah. Either way, a bait and a waste of bar. Could be used for level two earlier in this round. Noah goes in a burnout, but he's got the bar at the bottom level one. I see him stagger stepping. All the hits connected. Noah with the rising upper. Okay, opportunity. Level two is available, depending on which route we go for here. Finds a punish counter throw for the start. Throw right after. He's still alive. To that bar soon. Oh, but the crouchy medium kick gets the hit. Already had CA. The next hit would have done it. Mother Teresa out here. And Cammy needs to be juiced up on that drive gate to reveal the damage I'd like to have. The Hunt coming through with the sub. I see. Thank you so much for the love. So this is finals. Noah versus Mothman. Okay. Big juggle. Look at the damage already. ODDP oh, easily stopped. Gonna spend all the drive gates just to make sure. Noah, a perk. But things from Asana Noah. Finds a jump and another jump in again. My man double jumping like a freaky frog to jump fierce. But again, jumping, yo, Mothman. I'm going to say today, your anti is going to get tested. Like no other. Your cross cuts, your blocks. <laughs> oh, it's a. No, I thought it was going to be a punch. It was closer. It might have been punch. Okay, though. Even in burnout. Gets a jab. You are pressing there? Noah. I wish that I had anything in my life is I was as confident about as Noah was about that jab in burnout against Cami pressure. Like, what? What are you? That's crazy, dude. And he just knew. He dialed in the next button. The risk and reward has got to be like, I got the health to play with, and I'm already up around, and my aggressive style will make you feel uncomfortable. So, like, it's got to be like, I'm going to keep getting in until you stop me from getting in. Off the backboard, driver, stand fierce, heavy knuckle, ender. Throw the throw, but plus on with, just like Street Fighter V. Okay, burning yourself out to get out of the corner. Interesting spending of the resources here. Oh, this is so scary, so scary. Crouching fears, very plus. Dude. Fears, follow up. Should be enough right here, yes, sir. No other prodigy. I, I, I gotta wonder. If Mothman has experienced Noah. There we go. The DP is finally on Noah. Presser was the turn. Mothman missed the dive kick. Unfortunate. He might have clipped that crouching medium kick. Oh, we cannot let those get away. That neutral jump. That's big. Chaser. In that situation, I do believe he's still with the Oki. Oh no, he's setting up for crouching medium punch to come through. The blessed button, the god button, the back fist, check my wrist, immediate level three. Mothman hey. tells Noah to lock in. Yeah, inflicting this amount of damage while keeping your opponent still in burnout. Goes to the OD, is able to jump away, but checks the legs on the landing. Felt like a KO of anti here, bro. Just checks him low right as he lands. <laughs> oh man. It's fun watching. <laughs> Oh, what? It's fun watching him try to go for the hooligan, but Noah somehow prepared. Already right, committed to that crouching fierce DP bit right there. Oh my lord. If you would have jumped in, jump fierce, that might have actually reached, but heavy kick works out. Force knockdown follow the level three Noah. He set up from the trenches. And the hitty fist don't miss, bro. The hitty fist don't miss. Jumping heavy kick, the call out, having a follow-up against a dive kick. Is looking a little long for man's moth man. Stay alive. Okay. And then if you burn out, you lose immediately. You have to be so careful. Yeah, I was gonna say the second you're burnt out in that spot, Mothman had an opportunity, but Noah again just snatches it away. So difficult. So much pressure that's put on Mothman. And this is one of the stuff that he wants to do, right? We've seen the hooligan try to be expressed and they were stopping that hasn't even been able to come through even like as a neutral tool like it hasn't even been capable 
Jump by kick actually blesses the crouching medium punch. Nice love. It's not a knock, mop man. Shimmy off the stand fierce. There we go. Was ready for the back dash there. Got the jab. Oh no! It just couldn't be worse. Tried to reset him though. Okay. Ooh, Mothman. Oh, <laughs> didn't fall asleep at the wheel. Good block. That was terrifying. Mahachu. Doing real bad. Oh, this could be bad. The perfect parry up in the corner. The more that no doesn't spin, drive gauge to get you in the corner is actually worse off for you, I feel like. So if he gets you there without drive gauge being spent, it's going to be bad. Finds the overhead, jump heavy kick, holds the parry. Mothman, a lot of preemptive stuff now finds the OEDP side switch. Hooligan gets deleted with that crouch fierce. Charge knuckle. Oki, the throw right after. Well, the blocks in a row, and you are dead for sure. Absolutely closed out there on the punish counter. Good block, and Noah evens up the rounds here and is at a massive advantage, even on meter. But the momentum, dude, you can feel it. Oh, look no. How, look at how aggressive he is. You see that light in the crushing media punch immediately catching him up and trying to walk back in the fourth situation. Wakes up the anti shimmy tool, crouching medium kick. Leads in a level three immediately. Wants to put this man in burnout, but again, Noah loves to be in burnout, bro. He's like, oh, this is my final form. I got the bar at the bottom. Level one, two, and three, if need be. Heavy kick, trying to reach. You can't go for a drive impact against this man. Don't do it. You see the level three at him. He's going to run it off the medium knuckle. Don't wake up with a DP. You got to chill. You got to block. I know it's hard, but you have to block. Trade. No, too far for the ODDP to hit. And he needs a fist to face to put him out. On well, this loser's face, it's Noah. Momentum, it's time for the grand finals. Smiles up, baby. Let's go. Noah Knuckle Do. Oh, Ooh. double jump. The jump fierce, blessing the dome of Knuckle Do. He's up in the corner. He's had issues like trying to anti this character. The jump fierce, jump heavy kick, crouch fierce. From down, don't always work out. Look at that trade at best. Most of the time, you're not fine. Start from the corner. Jump over, escape, on across on the meaty. Nice, perfect parry. Crouching fierce, though. The button of the heavens. This time, it's a flash kick. Parry. Crush gets turned back and crushing. Meaty kick too far out. Late flash kick to get the cross up. Now, Noah and burn up. But again, Noah. I'm fine with this, but he can't run that same sort of like level one gameplay against the fireballs because he can't get clipped. He's a nerf to level one. Let's meaty fireball. Anti air dash up to get it done. Knuckle do. Very strategic. His placement. Yeah, his timing on when to go cross and when to go normal fireball is unmatched. But that's great poke there. Actually, beats out the upside down kick attempt. Underrated tool, also. I mean, obviously, people know upside down kick is good, but it does a lot yeah. of damage to your drive gauge on block, too. It really does. I have careful about getting hit with the drive impact with like a 50 jump in. Perfect parry. Ridiculous. So you the feet side switch? Yes. A weird angle where he couldn't get the crouch fierce off. It's the back dash crouching medium punch. Go for level three. Level two. Level three. Okay. Yeah, level two's range can be a little short. I feel like the one weakness of his level two is that the range is a little short. So if there's any question, just spend the extra bar. It's like we said before, you got you gotta kill him. Yeah. Do what you have to do. Don't be done again. Like as close as you can get to make it harder for him to try to anti-air. Flash kick won't work out to these ranges. This is whip. Holds the parry against the OD and normal sonic boots. Trade from two, three bars still available for Dew here. Sonic Boom looking for that heavy kick, maybe for an, act an activation for like a level two situation. It's the rising upper as the anti air overhead gets a throw right after. Those got him. Again, another overhead. All right, Jab, stopping him, stopping him, trying to leave the corner. Interruption again. That jab lurching forward. Now it's level two to get through. And now it's Noah with the first victory this grand finals. Yep, didn't oh get a chance God. to go for the level two. Didn't get a chance to be able to combo into level three. Dude, unfortunately, dies with three bars. 
it's hard to just brute force using the baby booms too so it's like usually it has to be like a, a set sequence right so the light starter heavy heavy knuckle chaser he's in again crouch fierce is the entire choice i can't believe that actually worked with that cross up tool the dude does leave the corner down kick trying to clip that crouching medium kick preemptively I haven't seen it work yet Right after, it's like with punish. We didn't have the charge for like an OD Sonic Boom. We're gonna spin the bar. Drake Fang, he goes for it. Only DP immediately from Noah. Backs up again for the anti choice. Crouch Fierce keeps working out. He's so that blessed. Having time to have that massive of a step backwards is huge. Goes for the cross meaty once again. There's the throw. Overhead, the throw right after, of course. Let's put himself in front out. Reversal jab, BD boom, has to be it, and that's it, of course. Of course. And yeah, the problem is now you can't really just like level one like you'd like to. And at that point, that level one gameplay isn't as strong as you'd like it to back yourself up. Mm. In front out, I think that was pretty much guaranteed. But like level one as like an anti fireball tool, not as good. Because if the Sonic Boom hits you before it comes out, it's over. Just waste that bar, but no, it won't waste his chance. Okay, good step back into the DP. Just fundamentals coming through, finds the throw. Dude, kind of in trouble here. And the loop almost kills. He's in. No way, right? There's literally no way. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> nice OD. <laughs> overhead. Inside a knuckle dude, Drake Fang, OD. We've seen that happen so often. He'll go for the Drake Fang overhead, and no one will immediately go for ODDP. That might have to be something that Knuckle Dude recognizes. Oh, he's gonna have to converge with the punch to have starter. But he got a grip of damage. Yeah, goes for the simplest version as well. Stand Fierce, Stand Fierce is like the easy undroppables there. Very nice stuff. Look at the damage too. Yeah, Stand Meter Kick anti again at that range. Now the anti is working out better for this character. Got a bit closer for that jump. Fierce, crushing medium kick, sweeping him off the feet. Game the game right now. I like that big step forward too. Didn't want to throw another boom. You could see Noah walking forward with those little crouches. We're buffering. Nice, okay, too far for that upside down kick to hit. Too predictive and Noah capitalizing. Throw right after, damage is adding up. I know, yeah, now trying to play the ground game a lot more. It feels like the jump ins aren't there as much. He's trying to dry brush in with a typical self of Medium punch, crouching, medium kick, and the fireball pressure too as well. Do not deter, he's got a lot of room to work with. Mm, <laughs> that's so sneaky. The only problem with being in Burrow is like you don't get the advantage of having extensions like you like to, but the fact heavy punch. Finds its mark as a whip punish tool. Flash kick ender. Knuckle do like very dominant outside the range where no one like to play at. Like he, haven't seen that CQC. So close range gameplay. There we go. Crouching medium kick. We get the hit that he wants. Heavy knuckle ender in the corner. Crouching fears. Oh, but had already buffered a normal there. Wasn't quite ready to be able to go for the secondary anti air. Also fireball level one follow up. Damn, knuckle do. Being able to have that awareness, man, fantastic. We have to close that out, though. Noah's not done just yet. He's got the level three on his side. He'll spin the win. Ooh, is that too far for Stan Light Kick to punish? I guess so. And yeah, no cross here, only booms. They don't want to be unpredictable here. The threat of so much chip. Flash kick, absolutely. Here come the baby boomers, and you are just done. Oh my god. The march of the baby boomers, bro. Unfortunate. Game point for Knuckle Doom.
try to prevent a reset from happening. Noah just not being able to be comfortable. The area that he feels comfortable. Close to mid-range. Drive rush up for the light. There we go. Stan Fierce, heavy knuckle ender. Up in the corner. Frame kill backs off this time. Knuckle do not biting. Not even inviting the idea of an OD flash from his side of things. Yeah, see, every time he gets hit with that OD DP. He baited the parry perfectly, but didn't commit it to the jab. Wasn't quite ready. We're going to throw. Man kill. In burnout. Doesn't matter. No one's got the advantage. Make a throw again. Crouching mini kick. Wasn't punish counter, so no follow up. Baby Bloomer's activated again. He holds all of them. And Knuckles who makes a pay child support. This is set. Tournament TNS point. <laughs> Uses the fireball twice in a row. Trying to take that big step forward. Threatening at that heavy kick range. The tip of the boot. Let's start a crouch fierce off the backboard. Heavy knuckle finisher. Meeting with the crouching medium punch this time. He goes in. Doesn't even back off. The shimmy. I see Noah using more of that OD bar. Like for OD fireball to just cut in. Back heavy punch. That was so much to deal with there. Ends up just taking the throw. Big step backwards. Looks for the anti-air. It looked like. Ends up going to a weird jump. The reset situation comes through and barely the stopped perfect. the drive rush. Perfect parry though from Noah. Going to beast mode. This kills. Never mind it will. With the scaling, enough to do the damage. Bar spin, again, the bar at the bottom can back him up. He'll stay A-OK, -okay, even in burnout. But I feel like sometimes you might have to have some of that OD gauge, like OD fireballs against Gao every so often. Boom after boom. Tries to get in a little bit to regulate the space. Noah. Becomes ungovernable. Good dashboard twice in a row. <laughs> I'm trying to regulate who? Not me, bro. Side switch up, light kick, the flash kick right after. Meaty boom. He perfect parries. But here's the thing heavy kick activation. He's in a bad situation. He's in burnout. That's what Knuckle Dude's aiming for. Be a baron of burnout and burn this cat out. Make him look hella ashy. Get this man the Jurgens. Please. Get this man some Jurgens. Please. Look at that follow up with the OD. Dude, almost at the level one in this spot, too. Gotta be careful. Like Dashes up, and he just blocks. He chills. He knew the dash and is so ready for the drive reversal. Knuckle do. Three to one on a great call out.